Well, 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 looks like that time of the year again. I know how precious your time is, so I'll get straight to the point. This is a long video. The biggest reason is due to the fact that a lot of these creepy and scary videos I actually will show you guys. I will talk about each video and describe them in a few different ways. Whether I talk about the backstory of a video, or just talk about things that happen in said video. I will make sure to list things that show up in each video and warn you guys accordingly, and I will also provide timestamps on screen for each video, in case you want to skip them. And I will also not edit or add any jump scares into this video. I will only show jump scares if they are part of the original video. And if a video does include a jump scare, I promise I will let you guys know. So with that being said, grab some snacks and drinks. If you want, bring your friends and family. And make sure you are comfy and safe. Because we are ready to begin. I Feel Fantastic is a well-known YouTube video from 2009. The original 2009 upload has since been taken down from YouTube, so all that remain are re-uploads. The video contains a robot singing the lyrics, I Feel Fantastic. This is almost the entire video, however at around 1 minute and 45 seconds in, the camera shows the outside trees and leaves, then goes right back to the robot which goes by the name Tara. There are a lot of theories to why this video exists, but the most common theory is that the doll belonged to a serial killer and the doll is wearing the clothes of the victims, and the outside scenery shown is where they buried the bodies. However, most people think it's just an odd art piece that has no backstory at all. The creepy tape found in Croatia is a found footage video that was published on YouTube in 2012. However, the video itself is supposed to be from 2005. The footage shows two teen boys wandering the streets at night filming each other. All seems fine until they notice a man in the shadows watching them. As the video progresses, the man slowly follows them to wherever they go. The teens keep ignoring him and slowly make their way back to what appears to be their apartment, until realizing that the man followed them the whole way and attacks them. Very few people think this is a real video, and the general conclusion is that this video is a homemade film to spark attention. Which, it definitely worked if I'm talking about it here. Yelling Creature is a video posted on YouTube in 2006, which is a 6 second clip of an alien-like creature screaming the word, No. And, that's it. This video isn't even scary or disturbing in my opinion, it's just odd. But, who knows, let me know what you think. Don't Hug Me I'm Scared or DHMIS is a YouTube series that first came out in 2011 and is one of if not the most well known part of this iceberg, with the series earning more than 220 million views and also just got a brand new TV show that is actually super super good and funny and I highly recommend it. The series has multiple episodes that all have much deeper meanings. The episodes start off with the song that sounds as if it would be in a children's show like Sesame Street, but quickly the episode gets dark and gruesome, showing blood and guts. Now I won't show this video just due to the fact it's well known and also is an actual show, so if you haven't seen them I highly suggest looking it up, and even more highly suggest watching the actual new TV show. I'll be honest, I have no idea what trollage videos are. For something so high on the list, there aren't many popular videos that show up. But it's fine, because now it's finally time to talk about something that some people might not know of. Trollage videos are videos that typically have a few specific things about them. They typically start out as a step-by-step -step guide to certain things, then take a turn and tell you to kill your dog or something like that. The video uses the troll face and typically stick figures. Some can be funny, some can be weird. I wouldn't really say scary, but that's obviously up to you. Step 1. Make an account on popular social media websites like Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok. Step 2. Make content that you enjoy making, and that others enjoy watching. Step 3. Do collabs with other users to boost popularity. Step 4. 
trade your soul to the devil in exchange for eternal fame and power. Step 5. Convince your followers to do the same. Step 6. Using your army of followers under your control. Overthrow the government and take control over the world. Step 7. Kill all who are against the new god. Elsa Gate is a generalized term of YouTube videos made for kids that include Elsa from Disney's Frozen. These videos were very weird due to the fact that in a lot of these kids videos, Elsa or some other characters would be violent or even get pregnant. Just in general, these kid videos are super super weird and the fact that they were made for children is what makes them creepy. But I can't blame these kids. How could you not resist a title such as Frozen Elsa Loves Superman Joker Prank with Spider-Man Pink Spider-Girl Superheroes in Real Life 2017? And let's just ignore the fact that the word heroes is spelt wrong. I won't show the whole video just because it's almost 12 minutes long, but I'll show you the first few minutes so you can get an idea of how weird these Elsa Gate videos are. FNAF VHS tapes are typically in the style of found footage videos that have the characters from Five Nights at Freddy's. These videos are referred to as analog horror, which is a subgenre of horror that is all about old school VHS tapes and old TVs and news broadcasts. Miss Shea St. John was a character that starred in videos and blogs back in 2003 up to 2007. Shea St. John's creator, Eric Forner, claimed that the story behind his character was that Shea was an actress slash supermodel that got horribly disfigured in a train accident and rebuilt her body out of mannequin parts. When watching these videos as a kid, it was definitely creepy and scary. But looking back, these videos are just goofy and weird. Sadly, the creator of these videos died back in 2010 at the age of 42. But luckily his memory will live on with Miss Shay St. John. Shay? Are you still doing that hand thing? I heard you're doing the hand thing today. God, what is that? Shay, what is it? Ah, uh, hood. You've been doing this for 24-7. So you've been doing the hand thing all day? Heard you were. Jordan told me you had to be doing it on a sleeping bag earlier. Treats for Beasts is a YouTube channel that is well known for the creepy video on his channel by the name of I Love Jesus. Looking through the channel, I found that they are apparently making music now with cursed music videos, so that's interesting. But most of the creepy videos on his channel people talk about were posted around 11 years ago. Some are just weird visuals mixed with weird music. Some are just gross, and some have a message behind them. As I said just a second ago, their most well-known creepy video is their video, I Love Jesus, posted back in 2011. The video has some light blood and creepy undertones, but the deeper message is a lot more disturbing due to the fact that some people are actually like this. Take a look.
Let me hear your war cry is a video posted to YouTube. It is an edited clip of a movie called Full Metal Jacket. The original clip has the character yelling, saying, let me see your war face. This clip was posted in 2010 and has since gained 6 million views. The clip has some loud screaming noises and creepy faces, but that's it. Blinkroomsoup.avi is a video that was found in 2008 then uploaded to YouTube. However, I can only find a 2014 re-upload, and this video is well known for being one of YouTube's most confusing videos. The reason being is because at first glance this seems just to be another homemade video of some type, or maybe a school project posted to gain attention. However, once people took a closer look, they noticed something. The costumes used in this video were created by someone called Raymond Percy, Case solved, right? Well, it turns out Raymond stated that at one of his shows, the costumes were stolen, and then a little while later, the clip was sent to him via email. There are theories of the man being abducted and being forced to eat his soup that has his wife remains in it, but no one knows. This could easily be a stunt trick made by Raymond to promote him, but at the same time it could easily be something much darker. The video is very simple and doesn't contain anything disturbing, rather than the atmosphere and the theories that go along with it. The only thing I found disturbing were the cries the man makes while eating the soup, and the odd presence of the people in the costumes. Fallen Angel in Cataloni is a video posted back in 2006 and is from Spain. The video shows what appears to be multiple hikers or campers in the woods investigating something they heard and finding a supposed fallen angel. Now the video is from Spain, however the video does have subtitles, so the best I could do is run what they say into Google Translate. So the translation won't be 100% accurate, but this is what they say. Este tío, yo qué sé, tío, se llaman plumas, tío. ¿No es uno? Eso es lo que se ha hecho. Toma, tío, ya veo si se ha hecho. Me he quedado desde hace rato que se ha hecho. Que sí, cuñones, que sí. Tía. Escolta. ¿Un centro o no? Meat Canyon is a channel that is very popular recently due to their gross and disturbing animations of childhood cartoons such as Spongebob and Regular Show. These animations are heavily detailed and the voice acting doesn't help much either. In my opinion these are gross in a funny way but some people might actually find these videos disturbing. Lost episode creepypasta videos refer to creepypastas built around the idea of a TV show having creepy lost episodes that were either lost and forgotten or aired once or twice and is super rare. The most famous and well known one is probably Squidward Suicide and Suicide Mouse. I can tell we have a theme going on with this one. The Squidward Suicide was supposedly originally called Red Mist that showed Squidward after being humiliated when people didn't like his clarinet playing. And just to let you know, this is just a fun creepypasta and is 100% not real. Then we have Suicide Mouse, which is just a long video of Mickey walking and that's it. The creepy part is the background noise and suspense of nothing happening. I'm going to show Suicide Mouse because although they are both interesting, Red Mist actually doesn't really have a video to watch. And Suicide Mouse is about 9 minutes long and a lot of it's just a black screen, so I will cut a lot of the parts out.
David Firth is a YouTube channel well known for creating the Salad Finger series. Salad Fingers is a YouTube series that started back in 2007 and is on the same level as Don't Hug Me I'm Scared. In my opinion, Salad Fingers is more creepy than Don't Hug Me I'm Scared. However, the first episode is titled Spoons, where Salad Finger loves the feeling of rusted metal against his fingers so he looks for other rusted objects to scrape them against. It's definitely weird, but in my opinion not really scary, just maybe a bit disturbing. Ah uh, yes, Little Baby's Ice Cream is an ad that was ran for the company Little Baby's Ice Cream. The company closed in 2019, but I'll be honest, I have no idea why. <coughs> Sarcasm! The ad is definitely weird and makes you feel really gross. Agamemnon Counterpart is a video that came out in 2006 and is very odd. The video states that a video cassette was found in the year 2571 and yet the video shown is not related at all. Talk about false advertising. The video is very odd and strange and is obviously a fun project by someone and got a lot of attention. The video has a lot of flashing lights and moving parts so please be careful when watching. Lasagna Cat is a YouTube channel that started out recreating Garfield comics, but slowly turned into something uncanny and gross. The creepiest and weirdest video in my opinion is their newest one that came out in 2017 and is almost 5 hours long. The video is simplistic with John, Garfield, and Odie answering the door and people talk about how many sexual partners they have had. Simple enough until the very end shows not only creepy imagery and shows a high schooler giving birth into a toilet and trust me, they show almost everything. The Walton Files is a recent 2020 YouTube series that is similar to the FNAF VHS footage but with different characters and its own story. The Walton Files is also analog horror so if you get creeped out by that you'll probably get scared of these videos. Missing in 2009. A creepy YouTube video is giving police potential clues in a seven year old cold case. Hi Walter, I got a new girlfriend today is a video that first appeared in 2009, but has since been removed and has been re uploaded by multiple people. The video is about a guy talking about how he met a girl at the mall and they started talking and shopping and they ended up dating. However, at the end of the video, we see that he actually kidnapped her and was holding her hostage. This video actually got little to no attention until around 2014. The reason the video started getting attention is because most people thought the kidnapping was real and that the girl in the video was a 15 year old girl named Kayla. Kayla disappeared around two months before the High Walter video was uploaded, but the more people dug deeper, the more it seemed that maybe the video wasn't fake. In the High Walter video, there are two stores named JCPenney's and K Jewelry, and it just so happened that the mall right next to Kayla had both stores. Not only that, but Kayla was last seen wearing similar clothing to whoever was in the video. And interesting enough, the FBI actually did get involved and found the actors and the director who took part in the original video. And that is when people found out that the video was fake. So sadly, Kayla has never been found and my thoughts and prayers go out to the family of Kayla's and I hope she is found safe and sound. Here's the video. Hi Walter, I was at the mall today and guess what happened? I met the most wonderful girl. We went shopping at JCPenney's and she tried on a lot of clothes. And she ended up buying a whole lot of them, you know what I mean? And then we decided to go and take a look at some of the jewelry at K Jewelers. And she picked out this most awesome necklace, that I've, the most amazing necklace I've ever seen. And I, I know she wanted me to buy it for her because she kept on looking at me and kept on giving me that look, you know the look. And then we got kind of tired of the mall, and I brought her back to my place. And I know, I know she hates cameras, Walter, but I'm going to show you her anyway. Are you ready? If you have watched any scary YouTube videos or TikToks, you almost 100% heard this broken tornado siren. 
Heck, even one of the videos I showed you already used it. It is most famously used with the character Siren Head. The sound is most definitely haunting, and if I heard this while walking my dog, I think my dog would have to pick up my own poop because this would honestly scare the shit out of me. Take a listen. Dining room where there is nothing is a video from 2006. The video shows a girl who I honestly can't tell if she is real or not mouthing some random noises and words. The video pans out then pans right back in with the girl saying there is nothing. The creator of the short video stated that the video represents death as in there is nothing after death. Lee Hardcastle is a channel that deals with stop motion videos. Some of his stuff is harmless with his most recent video being the Chris Rock and Will Smith video being recreated in stop motion. However, some of his other stuff is a bit more creepy with some of his most popular videos such as Hamster Hell being a bit more disturbing. His video Hamster Hell is disturbing not necessarily due to the stop motion and blood, however, that does add to it. The video is disturbing due to the fact that the video talks about animal abuse. And you know what? I'm I can see plenty of ghosts and kidnapping videos, but the second I see an animal who gets hurt, I'm going berserk. The video is around 6 minutes long, so I won't be showing it here, but if you are interested, I highly recommend checking it out. All the other videos I show will be linked in the description, by the way. Happy Anniversary is a video from 2012 that shows a man laughing hysterically at the camera for a little while until he abruptly stops laughing. Already the video is kind of odd, but the backstory is similar to the High Walter video as and it has to do with a kidnapping. If you look at the description of the video, you can read the words, Happy Anniversary, 112, Dirtbag. Mara Murray was a 15 year old girl who disappeared on Route 1112 on February 9th, 2004. During a news interview, Mara's father called whoever took her a dirtbag, and on February 8, 2012, a channel called Mr. 112 Dirtbag released a video titled, Happy Anniversary. A lot of people started to suspect this man was involved with the kidnapping, but as police investigated him, they found that he had nothing to do with it and was just some old guy looking for attention. Here's the video. Jump scare videos refer to, believe it or not, videos with jump scares in them. I'm sure a lot of you know at least a few of these. The most famous one shows a car peacefully driving down a road just to scare you. Or there's this one with a ghostly lady standing in the road to jump scare you. Both of these are ads, believe it or not. One is an ad for tires and the other is an ad for energy drinks. And there are many more just like them out there and one can argue that the scary maze game is also a jump scare video, depending on how you look at things. Every 90s commercial ever is a video that is similar to Don't Hug Me I'm Scared as in it starts off lighthearted and turns into something creepy and disturbing. But I will admit the video is definitely correct most of the time. There are no jump scares but there is some disturbing imagery and gross looking creatures so check it out. 
and let me know if it does a good job at being a 90s commercial. Guys, Cody and the gang are at the park, playing football with Down Down Darius Jackson. Let's go! You're not going anywhere without your big game liquid slam. Excellent! Go long. This one's going downtown. Whoa! Whoa! Yeah. Now I got a full team. Yeah! Yeah! Liquid Slam! Liquid Slam! <laughs> Pyrak is a YouTube channel that is extremely well known for his videos being very creepy and disturbingly edited. Most of his creepy videos came out back in 2009 to 2012. His most popular creepy video is called Ba. Happy Tree Friends is a show that appears to be for kids with bright colors and cute characters, but actually shows characters being killed and pushed into blenders and all that good stuff. In my opinion, it's not scary or disturbing, it just catches you off guard the first time you watch it, and that's about it. Seinfeld Pitstain is a well-known YouTube channel for creating the infamous Jimmy Neutron Power Hour video. The channel has a few other disturbing videos such as Life of Blue Man and other Jimmy Neutron parodies. There isn't anything super creepy about them, but they are just definitely off-putting. Nana825763 is a YouTube channel with a lot of creepy and odd videos from back in the day. Their very first video titled Doll has some creepy visuals with music in the background, but funny enough, nowadays they just play Minecraft and every once in a while update people about their horror game they are making. Henry Eats is a short animation originally created in 2003. The video has a very odd and creepy art style that is very unnerving and the sound design is what ties the short animation together. Besides that, there's not too much to talk about this one, it's just another short film. Pilot Red Sun is a YouTube channel that posts animations and short videos on YouTube and has been since 2012. In my opinion, nothing this channel has posted is really scary or disturbing. The art direction is really the only one thing about these videos that could be disturbing. I honestly find his videos more funny than anything. Jack Sauber is a YouTube channel with roughly 2 million subscribers that has been posting anything from creepy animations to their music. Which let me just say, this man has a beautiful voice. However, this guy has been on Adult Swim, believe it or not, so I think this is actually pretty cool. So you know what, Jack? I'm very proud of you. He has been posting a decent amount, and their most recent video titled Baby Son Adoring Us is actually pretty creepy. Now, this video I can't really find. The iceberg chart states it's a specific video, but I have no idea what video they could be referring to. Especially due to the fact that only top 10s and reaction videos pop up. But the closest video I could find with this title is a video posted 8 years ago. By a channel named Jesse and Mike. And the video isn't creepy, it's just a comedy sketch. So I hope this is the correct video the chart was referring to. Exploshi is a YouTube channel that I actually have watched before. I watched their Scott Cawthon vs. Yandere Dev video and I thought it was super funny, so I'm surprised to see the channel on this list, but yet, here we are. The video that got this channel on the list is the same reason a lot of these channels are on here, which is due to weird animation styles. A video like this is Exploshi's most viewed video, Breakfast at the Watersons. So, I'll be honest. I'm not even going to try to pronounce this, so I won't. Marine McGuck. 
Edgar McGrath. So this is an interesting one. So this video has a creepy backstory to go along with it. Apparently, this is one of YouTube's most cursed videos. And people think that if you watch it, you'll be cursed. However, I'm here to tell you that that's nothing. And this video is 100% fake. The video is also called The Red Man by some and apparently cursed 150 people which made their eyes fall out. I know what you're thinking. That sounds pretty creepy. Yep, well guess what they did with their eyeballs. Well, if you guessed that they mailed their eyeballs to YouTube, then you would be correct because apparently that is what they did. And this video has since been debunked and pictures of the guy is just a stock image with red backgrounds and some creepy things added to make it look creepy. Hey, so I'm recording this at, uh, here. I'm recording this at four in the morning. I'm currently writing the script for my um, disturbing uh, videos iceberg or whatever. Um, and the one I'm on right now is Girl Sue's Ghost and Runs. And I am not joking when this is the first video to actually creep me out. Um, obviously I'm gonna show it to you guys, but it's pretty creepy. Um, obviously it wouldn't be as creepy if it was bright out and my girlfriend was up. But no, when it's four o'clock in the morning and I'm tired and I see this sh That's creepy. Uh, yeah, you, you better watch it. It's it's pretty, it's pretty scary. So, yeah. This is the first video to actually creep me out, so... Yay! Congratulations. I feel the reason this video scares me is just how real it feels. We all have seen kid movies and TV shows, so we all know how hard it is to make a kid actually act. So when these kids act so genuinely scared, makes me feel so creeped out, and let alone the original video has no comments and no one on YouTube is really talking about it. So that makes it even more creepy. So I will show you the video now, so if you would like to skip it, feel free to do so. Yeah. I just turned off the lights, that's all. <laughs> what was that? The fish? Oh, the fish died. What? Angel's sleeping already. It's raining, girls. Nothing, Nani, are you almost done eating? <laughs> Look at me. Look at me. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> Web Driver Torso is a channel that isn't creepy but just odd. This channel has uploaded almost 700,000 videos. Yeah, that's right, 700,000. All the videos have random names and random red and blue squares with sound playing in the background. Some videos are only a few seconds long and some are close to 30 minutes. There are a lot of theories and speculation about this channel and I wish I could help but there's no way I'm watching 700,000 videos of this. Omega Mart is a series of videos that subvert your expectations in a few ways. I personally don't find any of the videos scary, I find them funny actually in a way, but there are a few things that definitely can be weird, but something that is even cooler is that they actually made a real life Omega Mart. 
that you can go to and it has a whole bunch of hidden things you can find and I think it's pretty cool. Teddy has an operation is a video from nine years ago that shows someone dissecting a teddy bear, but the teddy bear actually has super realistic body parts inside him and that's about it. I think it's just more odd how the YouTube channel nowadays talks about true animal facts and it's actually a really good YouTube channel but then randomly made a video about a teddy bear surgery. Cool 3D World is a YouTube channel with, you guessed it, creepy and disturbing animations. However, this channel is anything but a cool 3D world. The animations on this channel are really gross, but they are way more what the f did I just watch than creepy. This is their most viewed video titled Earth and Moon. Now this video, <laughs> this one I remember. So this video I'm pretty sure everyone thinks is funny, but I could be wrong by that. I will try to describe this video the best I can, but I can't promise I'll do it justice. <coughs> A wobbly man goes to the store. Let me know how it did. The video is definitely stupid, but I remember so many people finding this video and thinking it was the funniest thing ever made. So the phrase ARG, for those who don't know, stands for Alternate Reality Games. And the best way I can describe it is, it's supposed to trick people in thinking that it's something that's happening in the real world, even though it's all scripted and planned. And a lot of people will randomly just start an ARG just to have fun. The most well-known ARG for Slenderman is probably Marble Hornets. Marble Hornets is a YouTube series that had the character The Operator, which is basically just Slenderman. The videos were posted in entries, and it's a very good YouTube series and I recommend it if you're interested in any of these type of things. The first entry sets up the theme and story of this ARG and it's actually pretty good considering it came out 13 years ago in 2009. Llamas with Hats is a YouTube series that is all about dark humor. It is definitely an interesting short series that is actually really funny. The first episode was uploaded in 2009 and it's just really funny, albeit with a bit of blood and that's it. Lavender Town is a location in Pokemon that is considered to be cursed. Well, let me say it more specifically. The song that plays well at Lavender Town is said to be cursed. This is a very, very popular creepypasta, and the gist of the story is that the original audio for Lavender Town had such high pitch frequencies that only kids could hear it. And once kids listened to the song, the song would make the kids go crazy and end up But you know what, it's fine because I cut a squirtle. The song definitely sounds a bit disturbing, but the creepypasta is all just fake and nothing ever happened and no one ever died because of this song. Too Many Cooks is a video made by Adult Swim that is a parody of TV sitcoms with a dark twist where all the cast members get hunted down and cannibalized. The video is 11 minutes so I won't show it here but I do recommend you check it out. It isn't scary or disturbing like at all but it is a bit gross but nothing else. So Real Entertainment is a YouTube channel that provides exactly what it promises. A lot of these videos are just weird and have no rhyme or reason behind them besides just being odd. I do find a lot of their videos funny, such as their most famous video titled Sonic the Hedgehog Improved Trailer. 
Crow 64, also known as Catastrophic Crow, is a game made by YouTuber Adam Butcher. Basically, Crow 64 is a fake game created for people to theorize about and piece together a story that the game is trying to tell. It's actually really cool and impressive that Adam could make a game and an ARG and make it fit so well together. This video is already going to be way too long, so I won't go into depth, but I will suggest you guys watch Game Theory's video on Crow 64 and Adam's original video if you are interested. Saudi Arabia Police Encounter a Real Witch is a video that tries to claim that police came across a real witch, and the video definitely is creepy, but if I was in this situation, it would go a bit more like this. God damn. So I don't think this video is real, however the screaming and crying from the police sounds super realistic and the way the witch starts running at them is very creepy. Take a look. Remember when I talked about Elsa Gate? Well, this is just a more generalized version of that. YouTube kids content can be very off-putting due to the fact that kids don't really understand what good content is. So these channels will just pump out bad and odd and weird videos just to get tons of views. But what I think is much more creepy and honestly more sad is the stories of greed, where parents will see just how much money they can make from these kids and will abuse them and force them into making videos just for money. And sadly this happens way too often. No kid should deal with anything close to that and it makes me sick knowing what greed can do. Obey the Walrus is a video that came out in 2008 that flashes random things on screen that shows a woman that is disfigured with creepy music in the background. However, this video should not be scary. The girl in the video was Sandy Crisp. Her stage name was Goddess Bunny. She suffered from a disease that made her look the way she did, and sadly she will probably only be remembered as someone scary and freaky. Sadly, she passed away in 2021 due to COVID-19. The video still can be a bit creepy due to the music, but now knowing that the video is just edited footage of Goddess Bunny, the video is a lot less creepy. So the title of this video is very similar to the other witch video I just talked about, so I'm not 100% sure if I found the correct video, but it definitely is creepy and unknown, so I'm going to talk about it. The video I found is titled, Witch Caught on Roads of Saudi Arabia. The video shows a car drive up to a woman sitting in a busy road, and it appears cops try to take a look at what's going on, and then the girl starts moving her arms, and the video ends. It definitely is super creepy, and doesn't help that the video has such little views, and probably no one on YouTube has even talked about it. Crypt TV is a YouTube channel that creates horror movie shorts and creates unique monsters. I really like this channel and some of their monsters are super cool such as the creature called The look -See, and their short film The Birch is super good and you should definitely check them out. 
So this title refers to a Mario Kart video with the title exclamation point question mark. And if you try to look this video up with typing just those into the search bar, nothing will show up. So the only way you can find this video is if it gets recommended to you. Or if you want to be lame about it, you can just look up the phrase unsearchable video and it will show up. But besides that, the video is not scary or disturbing at all. It's legit just someone playing Mario Kart. That's it. Now, I'm not too sure why this is on this list, maybe because the fact that we find 21st century humor funny is scary, but I'm not too sure. Local 58 is a well-known channel that dabbles in analog horror. The channel posts random community broadcast videos that can definitely be unnerving. This channel definitely is creepy due to its community service videos and news station videos. But my personal favorite video that is the creepiest is their video titled, You Are on the Fastest Available Route. The video shows someone driving their car listening to a GPS give instructions. The GPS gives instructions to seemingly nowhere, all while creepy noise plays and the terrain becomes more and more in the middle of nowhere. Take a look. In 10 miles take exit 17, then turn right onto Quarry Utility Road South. You are on the fastest route. In 2.8 miles, keep right to stay on service causeway H516. You will arrive at your destination in 14 minutes. Rerouting. Make a U-turn. Head east for one quarter of a mile, then follow signs for do not enter. Continue on unnamed road, then, in 300 feet, turn off your headlights. ENA is a YouTube series created by Joel G. The videos are yet again disturbing due to their animation style. The videos are wacky and weird with some odd visuals, but that's about it. Nothing too crazy. Possibly in Michigan is a video that was created back in 1983 and shows two girls going about their day shopping, while well, a masked man stalks them, only for the twist to be that the two girls are actually cannibals and eat their stalker. The best way I can describe this video is a fever dream, and most likely if you watch TikTok you most likely have heard a popular audio from this video. The video is 11 minutes long, so I will shorten the clip to about 3 minutes, showing a bit of the beginning, middle, and end. This one here smells great. Which one? Mmm. Smells like mother's crazy sister Kate. Oh, you think so? Yeah, I do. It smells so good. She couldn't have been that crazy. I don't think so. Oh, you don't think so, huh? No. Well, she put her poodle one time in a microwave oven. To eat it? Yeah. To eat it? Oh, no. No, 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 silly. To dry it. No, no, no. But it exploded. And they were both found dead. She must have been out of her head. many mess to disguise himself that he had forgotten who he was, who he'd known. He imagined himself a frog transformed into a Prince Charming. 
He felt the moment he kissed her, he would become the man she would want him to be. This video is definitely off-putting, mostly due to the lack of music and just the man's noises and grunts. The video is actually called Seekin's Performance Transfiguration. The video shows a man putting on clay and makeup and creates a disturbing looking creature. The video is odd, but the man is an actual performer and I can't get mad or creeped out by a man who's obviously just getting his bag. At first I wasn't too sure about what this could be. I tried looking up just the phrase Arabic YouTube and Arabic YouTube videos but nothing came up. Then I saw a video by some ordinary gamer talking about Arabic YouTube videos. And what he was seeing was a lot more creepy than what I was seeing. So I looked up the Arabic words he was looking up and oh boy did I find some things. Now a lot of these videos I found were just random creepy pictures with creepy music in the background and that's all I could really find creepy. WPKEPKW is a video posted on YouTube back in 2014. The video is another supposedly cursed video that once you watch it, something spooky will happen. Now, I couldn't find nearly as much information about this video as I did with the last cursed YouTube video, but I most definitely know it is not cursed. The video is a 27 second clip that shows a distorted face of what might be a man, but everything is too blurred and distorted and it's kinda hard to tell. Creepy music plays in the background and that's about it. I'm not sure if the original video is the 2014 upload, but still no matter what, I know it is not haunted, so it's okay to watch. Imagine Dome is a YouTube channel that dabbles in animation. The channel isn't super well known with the channel having 13,000 subscribers. The only video I could find that resembled to be creepy at all or disturbing is their video titled A Mistake Called Life that goes over how the world is evil and they don't believe in God due to the fact animals will harm other animals to live. The video isn't even creepy, the music is actually kind of relaxing which kind of makes the video disturbing but that's about it. So this one is definitely a bit gross. Ensuring Your Place in Hell is a DVD that had four videos on it. The first one, titled Grave Robbing for Idiots, is a 20 minute video describing how to successfully rob a grave and shows real bones and skulls. And the fact that whoever's describing how to do these things is so calm and relaxed, most likely proving that they've done this a few times in their life. The second video is titled Exploding Varmints, which shows a hunter killing small animals by making them explode. The third video is titled Mortuary of the Dead. The video is just two people exploring a mortuary and the film shows off dead bodies and equipment. The fourth and final video is titled Cooking with Huck Barco. The video is about Huck making food for his family, but the way he makes his food is in very disgusting ways. For example, he has homeless people spit into his cake mix and even makes a dessert that has the blood of someone who has hepatitis. The videos turned out to be fake and aren't real, so that's good. But all in all, these videos are really odd and just, just know I won't be renting this DVD from Redbox anytime soon. Haunt is a YouTube stop motion short film created by YouTube channel GRZ. The film was made as a recreation of their brother's dream and has been on YouTube since 2006. The video shows a little girl trying to head to bed but ends up seeing a ghost haunting her. The video is pretty well done and it's definitely eerie. The video does have a jump scare so be warned.
Robert Helpman is a YouTube channel that has its fair share of creepy and disturbing videos. The channel has 10 videos and all 10 videos revolve around a dead body named Daisy. The videos are still videos showing Daisy with words flashing on screen for a split second. Definitely creepy and disturbing, especially if this actually is a real body. The Wyoming Incident is a series of short videos that got re-uploaded. The original videos were of a TV broadcast hijack that showed these videos. There are quite a few videos that are titled The Wyoming Incident, so I'm not sure if they are all real, but the first video I'm pretty sure is the original. The video shows text reading, you will see such beautiful things, then shows two faces, then ends. It's very odd, and I know if I was watching Wow Wow Wubsy and this popped up, I would probably need therapy. Apparently McDonald's thought the best way to get you to buy a Big Mac was to show Ronald McDonald breaking into your house, because a few commercials from McDonald's showed this exact thing. Some videos show Ronald hiding under a bed stalking a girl. Others show him hiding outside watching her from afar. And others show Ronald trying to open the door and break in. However, these videos are obviously fake and a lot of people actually do think they're real. And I will be honest, these videos are definitely creepy, but at least McDonald's didn't use them as real commercials. Take a look.
嘘つきすぎやんすごい恥ずかしいうわ明日バイトなんだけどいつでもそこにマクドラルドいつでもそこにマクドナルド。Poochie and Pansy is a YouTube channel that created a series by the same name. It was an ARG that has since been completed, but is similar to Happy Tree Friends because at first glance the video seems to be just for kids, but then takes a dark, creepy turn. The episode I remember most is episode 3, titled The Witch. The video follows the two dogs in the witch's castle, and Pansy is captured and Pooch is there to rescue her. The witch shows up and scares the dog until creepy live action footage shows up that shows a fan, then a telephone, and then what appears to be a woman crying. Then the video ends. Baby laugh a -Lot was a toy from the 1970s. The toy was targeted towards little girls and the doll's main function was to laugh. I know, shocking, right? The toy not only was very annoying, but there was reports of the doll randomly turning on and laughing at night. The commercial shows kids playing with the doll, and the laughter of the doll makes everybody laugh. The video isn't really scary by intention, but if you have a fear of dolls, you probably will find this creepy. Listen to Remco's baby laugh a lot. Mope Mope is a character created to go along with a song created by an artist called Leaf. The animation shows cute flowers dancing around until the video glitches out and shows creepy and demonic versions of the characters, and the music becomes super dark and disturbing. Elisa Lamb security footage shows the last footage of a young girl named Elisa Lamb, who disappeared out of nowhere and was later found dead in the hotel's water tank. She was found because people claimed that the hotel's water was becoming brown and black, so reports led workers to check the water tanks and found her body in there. The thing that makes this footage so creepy is for two reasons. Number one is that it was the last time she was ever seen, and number two, Elisa was acting extremely off and seemed to act as if she was being stopped. It's very sad and disturbing. Take a look.
Illusion of Bias is a short film created by Alexander Bizerki and Sparks Rojas. The short film is about how humans believe they are in control, but in reality, they are not. The imagery is pretty creepy and the audio is definitely kind of disturbing. The video follows a girl who wanted to see her face, and after seeing her disfigured face, has vomit inducing nightmares every night. This is a YouTube channel that shows some mannequins and dolls. Now sadly everything is in a different language so I have absolutely no idea what they are saying, but from what I have read, apparently these videos are actually just regular YouTube videos that only appear to be creepy to people who don't speak the language. But I, as the most basic white guy ever, I have no idea what I'm talking about. So take what I say with a grain of salt. Hanging Munchkin in The Wizard of Oz refers to the original version of The Wizard of Oz that supposedly has an actor who played a munchkin hanging in the background in one of the scenes. And the later releases, the scene has been changed to have a bird in its place. A lot of people still believe this to be real, however it has since been proven false. Although a lot of bad things actually did happen during the filming of this movie. Such as the actor who played Scarecrow was bullied for being gay, and the cowardly lion suit was made with real lion fur and skin. 11BX1371 is a video that is referenced a lot when it comes to dark web videos. The video has some hidden messages and has been theorized and explained a lot, but the video itself shows a character with a plague mask, with flashing things shown on screen and disturbing music in the background. Take a look. Flash Vlogs is a YouTube ARG that was created back in 2020. The video starts out harmless enough as it appears to be just another YouTube vlog channel. However, with Ash Vlogs being connected to other channels such as Raka Raka and randomly posting odd videos such as their video titled Face Reveal, people realize that maybe this channel isn't as innocent or lighthearted. As mentioned before, Ash Vlogs posted a video titled Face Reveal and is Ash Vlogs most viewed video. It definitely is weird and odd. Curse Kleenex commercial refers to a commercial from Japan that aired in the 1980s. The video itself is definitely odd with the song It's a Fine Day playing in the background. The rumor for this video is that the girl in the video gave birth to the creature next to her and the whole crew apparently died soon after the commercial aired. On top of that, around 12am or past that, the video becomes distorted. However, I will be showing the original ad and not the 12am.
クリネックスティッシュです Now, I'm not sure if this is pronounced D Y E or just Die Fantasy, but I'll call it Die. Die Fantasy is a music video that at first seems like a normal Ting song slash video, but turns into a Lovecraftian horror nightmare. Sadly, I can't show the video or music because this video might get blocked if I do, but if you are interested, make sure to check it out. The Dawn is Your Enemy was something that appeared on Adult Swim to hopefully scare children into going to bed so they wouldn't stay up watching Adult Swim. The clip isn't really creepy, but if I saw this as a kid right after watching something innocent, I would 100% be freaked out. The video is such an odd commercial. I have no idea what the goal was with this one, but I guess it kind of worked in a way considering here I am talking about it, although I'm not too sure how much it will affect their sales. The video shows multiple Nintendo characters in 3D repeating the phrase, you cannot beat us. Maybe their goal was trying to entice people to buy the games to try and beat them, but I have no clue. The voices for each character is heavily edited and makes this video even more of a fever dream. Alan Tutorial is a YouTube channel that posts tutorial videos, such as how to pick up a blue chair off the ground, which I'm very thankful he made this because I was looking for this tutorial for weeks. All of his videos are like this with very specific tutorials for things you would probably never need. However, his last five videos took a turn with not only odd titles, but also a huge tonal shift. The basic story goes that Alan slowly went insane with his videos, and his later videos are just him going crazy, trying to make tutorials, and he just repeats himself over and over. Let me know what you think. Pantry is a YouTube channel that makes 3D animation videos, typically about cartoons such as Spongebob, Dora, Family Guy, and more. Their videos aren't really creepy or disturbing, and it's just another one of those I'm gonna ruin your childhood YouTube channels. Don't Be Racist, I Am A Building is a video that shows an animated building singing about not being racist. Yep, I'm... I'm not too sure what I was expecting with a title such as that, but I guess... I, I, I guess I shouldn't be surprised. The video is more funny than anything, and the only thing that could even be possibly creepy is the last line. The last line of the song has the building saying, they will haunt your dreams, but besides that, there's nothing bad. So I'm not sure at all what this could be referring to. I know it most likely refers to maybe angels caught on camera or maybe something similar to that. But the only thing that pops up are top 10s and music videos, so the best thing I could do is just find a video that is supposedly an angel caught on camera. I will show one of the most famous ones I could find because that might be the one the list is referring to. The video shows a man riding his bike about to be ran over, then a figure believed to be an angel saves the man. The video was filmed in China and has gained over 10 million views. Found the Tape is a YouTube channel that posted three videos back in 2011. 
The videos are titled Clip 94, Clip 95, and Clip 84. The videos have no audio and just show some random clips, and I don't know the origins of the videos at all, and each video is under one minute, so I will show all three. That does it, he is a freaking nerd. He has also seen pulling his pants down and getting spanked. The man has never been found or identified, and there is a chance he never will. Take a look. So some of the videos from here on out are considered NSF or not safe for work. Whether it's because of some really gory and brutal stuff or due to super sexual content. So from here on whenever a segment is not safe for work it will appear in red. Me 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 is a song that depicts the addictive nature of porn and sex with the beginning of the song resembling doing the deed or other things similar to that. And around the one minute mark the song takes a tonal shift basically referring to how you know you are addicted and that you hate yourself for what you did. And the song slowly turns into a slower more disturbed song. I can't show the animation due to the sexual content of them and I believe the original animation actually no longer can be found although I'm not too sure. And again, I can't play the song due to copyright, but if you are interested, you should check it out. 
Spanish SpongeBob MS Paint videos is referring to old videos made in MS Paint about SpongeBob. Most of these videos were made in 2012 and tries to be creepy just for the sake of being creepy. The crude MS Paint art style is probably what makes people find them so creepy, but the screams and blood of some of the characters is tame in comparison to a lot of other stuff, but might creep a few people out. So, I have no idea what my thought process was when watching this video. The video is a screamer, so that means it is a video built all around a jump scare. However, what's weirder is right after the screamer, the video just turns into a random YouTube poop video with random colors and reverse audio and sped up clips. It's definitely odd, but do remember this video has a jump scare, so be warned. Barbie.avi is a video from 2009 that shows a girl sitting and talking while the camera moves periodically. However, you cannot hear the girl and you can only hear what sounds like static and weird noises. The reason the video was mainly creepy was because there was such little information about the video. No one knew for sure what the video was about, but the video just ended up being an interview of an amputee and the video was edited to be much more disturbing than what it actually was. The video is 9 minutes long and has multiple parts, but I will just show you a small clip. My Sister is a video that shows a woman walking up and down a hallway in different articles of clothing until we see her take off a mask and we find that she doesn't look as perfect as we would once suspect. We then see her eat cake and a banana until she slowly starts taking off what appears to be another mask, then the video ends. I remember coming across this video when I was younger and being absolutely terrified, but now looking back and finding out the origin of this video, it's a lot less scary. The real reason behind this video is this girl just enjoys making masks and sells them for a living and the point of her eating the food was to show off what you could actually eat while having the mask on. Take a look.
New York Police Department car chase is a video that shows a police chase that ends with the car they are chasing disappearing right through a chain fence. Now it definitely is odd and from what I can find there are no explanations or proof that this video is fake, so I'm not really sure what to think. Let me know what you think. We've seen how strange things can get at night. Well, things are about to get a whole lot stranger. This mysterious driver tricks cops into thinking he's about to pull over, then all hell breaks loose. The officers watching this tape get only a quick glimpse of the man behind the wheel. It's the last look they'll get. For a moment, it appears as if the driver and his car have disappeared into thin air. But in the blink of an eye, the driver comes into view again. This time, he tries to outrun the police rather than just vanish. His moves are still baffling to the police as he swerves all over the road driving like a man possessed and just when he's really thrown the cops for a loop he gets back on a straightaway showing off a seemingly supernatural speed in just a moment he's going to make a turn into the twilight zone watch Fence at the end means no way out, or does it? Even watching it again, cops are unable to make sense of it. All they see is an intact fence and nothing more than the vanishing taillights of what the Garden City PD has come to call the ghost car. It's funny because I knew the second I was going to make this video I would be talking about this exact video. The video is titled, I Have a Body of a Pig. The video came out in 2007 and shows how a video that apparently captures a voice say, I have a body of a pig. Then the video shows a creature they found. The video has since been proven to be fake and in my opinion it is very obvious it was faked but still back in the day this was pretty creepy. Now, I'm not sure if I should consider the ending as a jump scare, but I care for you guys, so just to be safe, just know that the next video contains a jump scare. Exactly like the one over there, look. Misty.
Kate Yup at first glance appears to be a normal YouTube channel that makes mukbang videos. However, the more you start watching her videos, the more you realize something might not be okay. After gaining a good amount of views, people started noticing Kate would disappear for a while, then come back. She also appeared to have bruises and marks on her in certain videos, along with videos where she eats and her teeth fall out. Not just that, but certain editing choices in her videos made it clear that either she was in trouble or was just trying to play along for more views. Whatever the matter is, Kate Yup has not uploaded since 2019, and a lot of people are worried about her. Now, I'm not too sure if there is actually something sinister or not going on, but if she was kidnapped or forced to do things, why would the person who captured her allow her to edit her own videos? I'm not too sure, but I do hope it's all just a stunt and whoever is behind this channel is safe. So, I thought I'd throw this in here because why not? I'm currently editing and guess what? It, it's crazy and this kind of stuff happens. So I said Kate Yup hasn't uploaded since 2019, right? Well, it just so happens, the second I write this script... That's right, she posts. <laughs> the video is called, Kate Yup, I'm back, I am so hungry. Um, it, from what I see, she's fine, so I think, I think it was either just to get attention. Um, so yeah, she, she's doing good, I just think that's odd how that kind of stuff happens. Uh, if you're still here, thank you. Enjoy the rest of the video.
unedited footage of a bear is a video from Adult Swim. Now if we know anything about Adult Swim, it's that we know there's no way this is actually just 10 minutes of a bear. The video is very very odd and 99% of the time I had no idea what the video meant. The video is super long so I won't show it here but it is definitely odd. Daisy Brown is a YouTube channel that focuses on an odd creature named Alan. The videos are all kind of odd, some are based around Daisy feeding Alan, and as she slowly makes her videos, Alan grew larger. Now in my opinion, I don't find any of these videos scary or creepy, I do think they are cool though. Daisy Brown's first video is titled, How I Feed Alan. The video shows Daisy trying to feed Alan as she talks a bit about him. Take a look. Hi guys, uh, it's it's Daisy Brown. I'm just talking to the camera, and I'm gonna show you guys how I feed Alan. Um, he he's blind. In case you haven't noticed, his eyes are very foggy. He can't see anything. It doesn't hurt him. Um, he uh, he yeah he doesn't have any sensation there. He was just surprised. So. He is blind and he is a little bandaged up right now. He's having some skin trouble. And um, as you can see, he's just kind of like nibbling around looking for food. So I'm going to show you. His body is very unique. He can only uh, process sugar. So I'm going to feed him these little uh, sugar tablets. Um, so he is blind. He might be, con be confused. Uh -huh. Here we go. Come on. He's swallowing it. There you go. Oh, now he's better. One more. Oh, there we go. See, and he's not biting me anymore. Because he knows that he's getting fed. It goes down much easier the second pill. There we go. Good job, Alan. Alright. Let me give him just one more. There we go. Come on. Good job. So, um, yeah. That's how I feed Alan. Um, I'm going to let him rest now. Because that can overwhelm him pretty easily. Um... Thank you for watching. I hope I'll hear from you guys again soon. Hi, strangers. A video about a, um, um, and, uh, wow. Um, it's some, whew, someone is looking extra thick. Wow. I bet they are so soft and, s <clears throat> I mean, um, Hi Stranger is a short video made by Kristen Lapora, who funny enough is making the I Am Groot show, so it's funny how these things work out. The video shows a small naked man who says certain things like, it's okay to look at my butt and how he's been looking at you. A lot of the video is very surreal, but kind of comforting in a way. Deeper is a YouTube channel that has what appears to be a whole bunch of random uploads that show nothing more than random clips of something, like a fan or a walk down the road. However, a lot of people think that this channel is actually run by a murderer, and all the videos hint at the murder of a girl. Now, nothing is proven, and I honestly don't believe it, but their most popular video titled E-X-H-1-E-G-O-6-L-Y-9-P-Y-M-W-U-D-2-K-V-T-F-H-T-O-E-S-V-O-H-M-3-M-Z-G-5-M-T-Q-X-N-Y-5-U-C-W-E equal. I know it rolls right off the tongue. The video shows nothing but static and darkness, however people were able to decode the video and found out that the creator of the channel had passed away. So after the release of the video, many people assume it was nothing more than an ARG, or just a channel that wanted to make creepy videos.
The channel by the name 00390 is well known for some really bad reasons. A quick glance at the channel video shows a lot of creepy and disturbing stuff, but one definitely caught a lot of people's attention. A video titled How to Transport a Semi-Unconscious Girl got a lot of people worried for what this channel might be. The video shows a man trying to move a girl who appears to be unconscious. Not a single word is spoken and creepy atmospheric sounds are heard in the background. Pair this video with the fact that the channel's creator has videos of him following girls and hookers makes this video a lot more disturbing. The channel is still up somehow and so far mostly is considered real, so this video I show may be hard to watch, so be warned. Alien Caught Climbing a Building in Russia is a video that was first uploaded in 2013 and was titled Slenderman? Question mark? Stick Creature Climbs Building in Russia. I've actually watched this video when I was younger and it really creeped me out. However, looking back, it's obviously fake, but it's still kind of cool. The video shows what appears to be a long stick creature climbing a side of a building before it disappears in the dark. Nothing too bad happens and if you know that it's fake, it's a lot less creepy. Plus, I like to hum the Spider-Man theme song while watching the video. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Mary Mary is a YouTube channel that has been uploading short videos that follow the story of a girl named Mary who wakes up in a house with no one there. She realizes she can only upload videos to YouTube, however can't view any other people's stuff. So sadly Mary Mary can't watch any of my videos, which is such a shame. Mary slowly finds out that she is not alone, because monsters slowly appear around her that all have different abilities. All the monsters are based off of real life illnesses such as depression and anxiety. The video has some disturbing moments but it is actually incredibly well made and deserves a watch, so I won't show any clips here but I suggest you check the channel out. Dad is a YouTube channel that has posted some strange videos, anything to random videos such as his video titled One that just shows him waving, and videos of him playing games. Dad is definitely an odd channel that has gained a good 300,000 subscribers, so if you are interested I suggest you check him out. I wouldn't say any of his videos are creepy, but just maybe a bit weird. The Slamming Door is a YouTube channel that documents a house that appears to be haunted. A lot of the videos revolve around, you guessed it, a slamming door. Now sadly all the videos and comments are in a different language, so it's kind of hard to tell what is going on. But from what I've seen the channel just shows supposed paranormal activity. For example, one of the videos titled The Slamming Door 1803-15 Cam shows a book flying off a bookshelf. Facelift is an odd video to say the least, but it's made by Don't Swim, so of course it is. The video shows a face that has a whole bunch of wacky physics and goes through a whole bunch of random things, such as getting hit, shaken around, and shot, all that weird stuff. The video shows a face that has a whole bunch of wacky physics and goes through a whole bunch of random things, such as getting hit, shaken around, and shot, all with weird music and visuals. Benjamin Bennett is a YouTube channel that is well known for its series titled Sitting and Smiling, where this man Benjamin sits for hours at a time doing nothing but smiling. What makes this even more weird is that he is currently on episode 318, and each stream is a little over 4 hours long. So let me do some quick calculations. That is 1,272 hours, or 
57 days of nothing but sitting down, nothing but smiling. And what makes it even more odd is Benjamin is so dedicated to his live streams, he will actually pee himself. And he even almost got robbed during his live stream, all without moving. However, Benjamin has started a new series called Walking and Talking, which I'm pretty sure you can assume what he does in that one. And I'll just be honest, this new series is a lot more pleasant to watch. Ratboy Genius is a YouTube channel that is based off the character named Ratboy Genius. A lot of his videos aren't very creepy or scary, just weird. A big theme on the channel is music, with Ratboy singing some really weird songs. But besides that, Ratboy's just harmless. Man Gets Lost in the Catacombs of Paris is a found footage video that shows a man slowly and slowly getting deeper into the Paris catacombs and ends up getting lost as the man goes crazy, he drops his camera. And the camera he dropped was supposedly found a while after the footage was made. And the crazy thing is, is that this video is real. Well, most likely real. There are a lot of theories going around that either think maybe the catacombs were being flooded and he was running to safety or the man got scared due to him being alone and creeping himself out, therefore causing him to run away. The video is definitely chilling, and what makes everything worse is that if this is actually real, we most likely will never know if this man is okay. The video shows the man walking around the catacombs showing bones and walls, but slowly starts to realize that maybe he is lost, and starts running and ends up dropping his camera. White House, Why You Never Became a Dancer is a video that shows something. I'll be honest, I have no idea what that is, but it's moving its mouth while a song plays in the background, with the name of the song being Why You Never Became a Dancer. The video is odd to say the least, but the music in the background definitely makes the video less scary. Temple OS is something created by a man named Terry Davis, who sadly got diagnosed with schizophrenia and claimed he could see CIA agents and claimed he heard messages from God. And so he decided to create something called Temple OS. Temple OS is very very impressive due to Terry finding out how to encode 3D rendered graphics into text files, but as for why this is on the list, I'm not too sure. Not very creepy or disturbing. The story about Terry is sad, but I'm not sure. Maybe I don't know the full picture, so please let me know. No Through Road is a fan footage video that claims to show the final hours of a group of boys who find themselves lost and going in circles. The video is very well made and has some very good atmosphere. The video was posted in 2009 and has gained a following for being one of the scariest first YouTube horror videos. The video is 10 minutes long, so I will only show about the first few minutes of the video, so if it seems interesting, you should definitely check the original out. Uh, famous last words. Stingrays love foreplay. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna stick this down here because I can't be fucked to keep moving it. Hang on, I'll see if I can. It doesn't actually take many, except I can't Time move to the left. Just wait till we're going to turn the car. Look at the car, pull it to the left. Oh, this is. Wait, this is, this is a dead end. Oh no! Oh, my coke spilled over. Oh, my lap. Oh, it's cold. <laughs> Skeleton. Broom Hall Farm was in the news. I don't know what it was. I can't remember. Have you ever seen this uh, It gives me the shit so badly. I don't think we should be here. It's like it's like a private road or so. Okay, so I actually... better clutch down and roll backwards. It's nearly half four. We need to get home, mate.
The Memory Hole YouTube channel is a recent YouTube channel with its oldest video being from 2022, and it's a channel that uploads documentaries and older videos about certain subjects such as the JFK assassination and the CIA videos. It definitely is an interesting channel, but all the videos are super long and all about history so there isn't much to show sadly. Okay, so now I can tell we are getting to some really bizarre stuff. Turtle Song Persian Language is just a video of a turtle singing a song with a Persian man dubbed over. Nothing scary, nothing creepy. Now I don't speak the Persian language, believe it or not, so maybe what the man is saying is super creepy, but from just the video alone, it ain't nothing but a turtle speaking his mind. Take a look. Hamoud Hababi is a video of an animated boy jumping up and down clapping and singing Arabian lyrics that again I have no idea what they mean. Apparently from what I see is the lyrics are actually sad and depressing but I'm not sure what they mean so I'm not even going to try to understand them. Tekken is a YouTube channel that makes claymation videos that typically shows a lot of blood and gore. Their most well known series is about a character with a chainsaw. Some videos are titled Chainsaw Maid and others are titled Chainsaw Bunny. The videos are extremely well made and besides the blood and gore, nothing too creepy is shown. Little Run Mose is a 16 minute film created by YouTube channel Gooseworks. The short film has some amazing artwork and character designs that are very well made. The short focuses on Runmo, meeting odd characters as he progresses through a video game level. I definitely wouldn't say that this short film is scary or disturbing, but it is a good watch and is beautifully made. Carl Mayer is a video posted in 2008. The video is a slideshow of flowers for a while till the video starts showing distorted pictures of random things. All well little kids laugh in the background. Definitely odd. My dead grandma's coffin is in my own backyard is a video that was posted in 2010. The video was posted by a channel called DJ Def Joey. And the video shows Joey showing not only his grandmother's coffin, but also shows his actual dead grandmother as well. And he even shows himself kissing her. It's all very, very strange.
So this is a clip from a horror movie called The Poughkeepsie's Tapes. The movie is about videos found that were recorded by a serial killer and the movie is actually pretty creepy. The video is definitely unsettling and actually feels authentic due to how good the acting is. Take a look. Meet Sleep is an on YouTube channel that has posted a few creepy and disturbing videos. A lot of them feel just random and no one really knows the purpose of this channel. Their most popular video is titled... Um... You know what, never mind. The video shows what people believe to be someone cooking human meat, however it could easily be someone just trying to make a hamburger helper meal or something. So I'm not sure if this is the exact video because the original channel that had this video got taken down, so I'm hoping this is a re-upload. The video shows some random person in a chair screaming and yelling and stabbing themselves, all while creepy music plays in the background. Now I have a feeling we are getting to where a lot of this stuff will be unknown, so buckle up, we are in for a ride. So this isn't necessarily a video, but more of an audio. Operation Wandering Soul is something that took place during the Vietnam War. The audio consisted of screams of Vietnamese people with odd jumbled background noises in the background. The goal was to tap into Vietnamese belief that if you died and was not buried, you would wander the earth with constant pain and suffering. So, the ghost song is a nickname for a song called Horses, which I actually used as background music in my last Iceberg video, believe it or not. Which, at the time, I believed to be from a game called It Moves, but I'm not sure if the song was made for that game or not. The song definitely is eerie and creepy, which is why I used it in my last Iceberg video. The Death Whistle is a real whistle used back in the day by the Aztecs to replicate horrific screams. It definitely would be scary if someone blew this whistle late at night, but it's also super cool that the Aztecs were even able to make such a thing. Now I want to show you this. I want to share with you this very unique instrument. We call the dead whistle. The dead whistle the Aztec used for special ceremonies for Day of the Dead celebration. And also they use when they have a war when they fight with other tribes they play over a hundred instruments a hundred dead whistles marching and make a lot of noise to 
cause a big psychological effects to the enemy. So this is very intimidating instruments, and this is very unique. So this is the dead whistle. Candle Cove is a creepypasta slash lost TV show that a lot of people swear they have seen. Now, however the show actually never did exist, some fan videos have come out, and one of the clips is a video of the puppets and characters moving around sporadically, while screaming plays in the background. And I'm not sure if I'm the only one who feels this way, but if all you have is screaming, it's not gonna be scary. Uh, okay, listen, this video doesn't count. The Crow and the Raven is an art project that experiments with the idea of a short film that looks like it was drawn with a pencil. The video shows a dark and twisted visualization of the phrase, don't bite the hand that feeds you. The crow is fed but ends up biting the hand that feeds him and ends up getting punished. The narration in this video is truly disturbing and the visuals are also super creepy. This video I somehow never heard of, despite it having 15 million views. The animation is part of an anthology by a man named Mark Twain. It plays on the idea of right or wrong, and although it's not visually that creepy, there was a line that is actually very disturbing in my opinion. Take a look. Welcome to the Mysterious Stranger! What? What? Hello. What's your name? Satan. Uh oh. What's the matter? Nothing. Only it's sure a sorry name for an angel. Oh, wow. Please come in. Come on. YTP Sexer is a YouTube poop from 2018 and I have no idea why it's on this list. It's just a very unfunny YouTube poop that is edited poorly, nothing much to say here, besides that the original one minute video feels like an eternity to watch. Possessed Girl Found in Subway is a video showing what appears to be a woman vomiting blood and screaming at the top of her lungs while moving around and scaring the two people filming. Most people believe that this girl isn't possessed but is under the influence of some type of drug. Either that or she got hurt very badly while being on drugs. Or basically anything to do with drugs is basically what people think. Take a look. Got it going. We are live. Yeah, yeah man. Oh, about to go on some muni. Wow. Someone goes on forever. Hopefully, it's not a hippie. Stand those things. Yeah, that's true. Oh my god. Dude, dude, come on. Yeah, dude, oh my god. Dude, fail. Oh my god.
SpongeBob Cave Eaten Alive is a short video about SpongeBob running into a cave, singing, just to find a monster and run away. Let me just say, the best way I can describe this video is a fever dream. The video is odd and although not scary, if anyone saw this as a kid, it might be best to take a break from the internet for a few hours. So this video actually is no longer on YouTube. At least the original video isn't, so all I have are re-uploads. The re-uploads only have about 300 views, so I'm not too sure how popular the original video was, but if you are afraid of clowns, you might want to skip the next segment. This video was supposedly made for somebody's son and his friends to not be scared of clowns by showing progressively more scary pictures of clowns. What I find creepy is the fact that somebody actually tried to force their kids to watch this, which I feel is just not the best idea, just saying. The Grifter was a thing that originally started on 4chan, with people claiming that there was this video so disturbing that it takes a huge toll on someone's mental health, and that the video shows a bathtub filled with maggots and creepy images that flash up, similar to the ring. However, it later turned out that the people claiming they saw this video were just lying, because the video actually never existed. People would just say they saw it, maybe to look more cool in front of other people and also to make others mad that they couldn't provide the video link. However, a video was created in 2009 that showed almost everything the original post claimed was in the video. However, the video was also faked, with almost all the footage being taken from a film titled Little Otek. So, feel good knowing that this is just completely edited and it's fake. Tyler's Last Words is a video depicting a man singing a song to his deceased wife. After finishing the song, he points a gun to his head and the video ends. The original video was titled Tyler's Last Words, in parentheses, before he The video definitely is sad and disturbing, however, thankfully the video turned out to be a hoax. With Tyler actually being a man named Austin Cross, who was part of a band called My Fair Fiend. Chip Chan is a person who has been livestreaming themselves almost every day for 12 years. Chip Chan claims that she was tagged with the GPS tag and the people who tagged her are trying to find her and attack her. And she livestreamed so if someone did break in and get her there would be proof. Now she has been doing this for a long time and then randomly disappeared for a while, then came back. However, after coming back she no longer livestreams and instead makes videos documenting her skin rashes and skin problems. Some assume she suffers from schizophrenia and based off her rashes might be suffering from early onset diabetes. Chip Chan is truly a saddening case and I hope she gets treated well and she has a speedy recovery. Brian is a YouTube channel that posts random 3D animations with their most famous video being titled These Are The Things We Do. It feels weird and the music in the background doesn't help but I wouldn't really say these videos are scary. This is an odd one to say the least. Bitter Root Footage is a film that shows a man walking in the woods and brush spying on what appears to be human type creatures, but the way the video is filmed it is hard to tell. The video has no music, just to wind type sound and that's it. There is a backstory that was uploaded by the same person who posted the original film that honestly makes me realize this video is 100% fake. They claim that they went to get furniture from someone on Craigslist and while doing so found a box that caught their attention. They stole the box and found this tape inside. Not to mention the person who supposedly found this video is a film major, so yeah, I smell some fishy. So let me say this right away, this video is faked and not real. Okay, good. Satan Sphinx is a supposed found footage shape that was kept by the US government and contains disturbing imagery. But apparently someone found a re-recording of the tape while walking through the woods. Yeah, that right there shows how this is faked. The video shows random creepy pictures, all of which are in black and white, and the audio also contains a telephone ringing, so keep that in mind while watching.
2H32 is a YouTube channel ARG. Each video uploaded to the channel is exactly 2 minutes and 32 seconds long. The video shows what appear to be random rituals and creepy images, and I'm not good at figuring out ARG, so I have no idea what the point of these videos are. However, it is interesting and a bit disturbing. Rubber Johnny is a video about an alien that is extremely well made. It looks super good and was released back in 2008. The video shows an alien creature saying random gibberish then is shown in a wheelchair. And then anything that could be considered scary or disturbing disappears. Because the alien starts dodging bullets all while random music plays. It definitely caught me off guard and made me laugh out loud. Now, how are you feeling? You feeling okay? You feel well? Can I get you something? Do you want a glass of water? We're not really getting anywhere, are we, at the moment? Are you seeing something? Is there something you see over there? What do you see there, Johnny? What's this about Mama? Is this your mother? What's the matter? Do you want Mama to come in? Don't breathe like that. It'll make you feel really strange. I'm with you. Nothing's going to happen to you. Just calm down. Now. Just try to relax. Try and keep calm. Don't, don't tense up. Now. Just relax. I think you're getting a bit stressed out at the moment. Would you mind if I gave you an injection or something like that to make you calm? Should we try doing that? It won't hurt you at all. Just like a little bee sting. And then you'll be calm. Dolphin Muzzle is a video showing off a latex costume that makes you look like a dolphin. It definitely is unsettling, and if you have ever seen the movie Tusk, it makes me have a similar feeling to that movie. What is that feeling you may be asking? Ew. Ballface was a project that was made to test camera tracking software and color correction. The video shows, well, a ball with a face, just chilling in random areas of an office. The video is odd to say the least, but the more I watched it, the funnier it actually became. Manny, a brilliant stop motion. It's a video that a lot of people assume to represent drug addiction, or some form as such. Showing a normal doll head turn into ash and catch fire and bleed after smoking a dollar. The video is definitely a good stop motion short and is very interesting. This video I definitely saw when I was younger, which might be why I'm numb to a lot of these scary videos now that I think about it. The video shows what appears to be a normal makeup tutorial, till something flashes on the woman's screen and then she smashes her head into the table. 
The video is absolutely fake and was made to either get people's attention or promote something. However, I'm not too sure which one. Not Without My Handbag is a short from 1993 and was uploaded on YouTube in 2007 and is actually hilarious in my opinion. The ant gets taken by who I assume to be is the devil and is trapped, however leaves the devil because she can't be dead without her handbag. It's definitely a very interesting style and deserves a watch. I'll be honest. I laughed so hard at this video. The video is an edited clip of what I believe to either be a commercial, a home video, or a PSA, although I'm not too sure. The video shows a mom walking in on her son slapping that old sausage around. The clip then turns into some random colors and voices, with a face in the center of the screen saying some random things. The video in my opinion is much, much more funny than anything else, but you let me know what you think. So now I feel we are getting to the funny slash weird videos because these last few have been just so funny in my opinion. The commercial shows a man slither like a snake as he tries to steal another guy's whopper. It's honestly so funny and the music makes it so much better. Take a look. Mmm, meat. Soda. Gmod ARGs are videos that can range from actually unsettling with creepy pictures and some can be odd and funny with goofy music and storylines. There isn't much to say about this one, it's literally just Gmod videos. Andy Wilson is well known for making crude animations based off creepy pastas such as Squidward Suicide and Sonic.exe. And these, believe it or not, are also just so damn funny. Don't get me wrong, it's definitely weird, but I can't help but laugh at these. I mean, come on, SpongeBob pulls on his boobs and claims he needs to look good for Mr. Krabs. You gotta look beautiful for Mr. Krabs. You gotta look beautiful for Mr. Krabs. Oh, hey there, Patrick. How are you today? Jordan Goes to Sleep is a channel that does animation and also does videos with puppets. His videos are by no means scary or disturbing, but now he has a gaming channel, so that's cool. Ben's Playhouse is a very cool story that before I talk about, I highly recommend a video by Nightmind who talked about it. Before Ben's Playhouse was created, there was a viner who showed himself exploring a mental hospital and then stopped uploading. Later, Ben's Playhouse was created and showed videos of the Viner kidnapped in his videos. This is a super super simplistic way of describing it, which is why I definitely recommend Nightmind's video on it. But knowing that they are fake just makes them seem like cool and interesting art pieces to share a story.
Pyramid Ransom video is a video that shows a man make a remote control car, then fly to Egypt, and shows footage of the TV car inside one of the pyramids. And the reason the video is a ransom is because he wanted to be paid money for the footage, even though the footage shows like little to nothing. So sadly, this man did not get the five million he was asking for. What a shame. Bob Hickman is a man who claims God entered his body. However, unlike most religious people who would believe this to be a blessing, Bob actually hates Jesus and believes him to be evil. He has written multiple books that are only a few pages long, so I hate to break it to him, but I'm not sure those even count as books. He claims God hurts him and makes fun of him, which is definitely odd, and some of his ramblings make me feel just gross. Mr. Mix is a creepypasta game that's children's typing game. The video has you type words out such as milk and pineapple. However, later in the video, the rate you have to type speeds up and the game crashes and then shows random pictures of Mr. Mix sad and random people showing up. Take a look. Shed 17 is a weird and disturbing recreation of the Thomas the Tank Engine TV show that shows a disturbed version of the world Thomas is from. The video shows visuals such as Thomas's skeleton ripping out of his body with disturbing music in the background. Bobek is a video that shows a guy on a toilet pushing so hard till his head blows up. And that's it. On the bright side, we can just admire the aim this man has. Like, look at that. His poop slid right in. The Cat with Hands is a live-action stop-motion short film about a cat with human hands. It's definitely super odd and shows the cat taking a person's face and tongue, and it's very disturbing, although well-made. Take a look. Right here. Right where we're standing now. The Pier is a short film that left me sitting there pondering what the hell I just watched. The film shows a fisherman on a pier, fishing with an odd creature stalking him. Near the end of the short, the creature vomits live fish into the fisherman's mouth and the fish eat him from the inside. Interview with a Cannibal is a video about Izel Sigwa, who killed and cannibalized a woman. He was caught by police when he was seen dumping a bloody suitcase into a body of water. 
Once caught, he admitted that he killed her to eat her flesh. And what's worse is that he actually got away with it due to legal technicalities and because he was deemed insane. The Video Diaries of Ricardo Lopez is a sad and sickening case to say the least. The man Ricardo Lopez definitely had mental health problems, he also had an obsession with this artist called Bjork. His plan was to ship a package to Bjork that would kill her, and his plan was to kill her and then kill himself so they could reunite in death. However, luckily authorities caught on and was able to defuse the package and save her life. However, Lopez did kill himself. However, before all this happened, Lopez filmed his thought process and descent into madness, which were found and called the Video Diaries of Ricardo Lopez. M is Bad is an animated video about Mario and Luigi and shows Mario getting drunk and raping Luigi, and a whole bunch of random crap happens and it makes you ponder your life choices. Lonely Girl is a channel that first started posting in 2006 and is one of the first YouTube blog channels. At first starting off as genuine and kind turned into something no one expected. The whole time this channel was just a hoax and the channel was faked and created to tell a story. Jack Torrance is a YouTube channel that shows supposed videos that he found at an estate sale. All the videos show suspected stockings and kidnappings and it's all pretty interesting. The channel also shows supposed demons and witchcraft because it wouldn't be a scary video without it. For those who don't know, the Ayuwoki is a creepy disturbed creature that resembles Michael Jackson, and the name is a play on the lyrics Annie Are You Okay from Michael Jackson's song Smooth Criminal. The creature in the video is obviously just someone with a mask and wearing super long pants, however with the creepy music which just so happens to be Lavender Town, the video does become a bit disturbing. Now this channel is so odd and random I actually have no idea how to even describe it. The channel posts random videos that show random clips with random sounds, and I truly have no idea what this channel is for, and the channel is also in Spanish so that adds much more to the mystery of me not understanding the channel. The best thing I can do is just show you the videos. I Am Sophie is a channel that is definitely odd to say the least. The video that caught my attention is a video titled I Can See You Too. The video shows a man being filmed through his computer and other electronic devices, and the way he acts shows he most likely doesn't know he is being filmed. Obviously it's fake, and the entire channel in of itself is just another ARG or was just made to create a message. But for whatever reason it was created, at least we can all agree that this man is vibing. The Blue Channel is a series of YouTube videos that are a lot more focused on the music rather than visuals. The video shows a TV with a blue screen playing music with the occasional video skipping or static shown. The music is definitely odd and uncanny with a lot of people saying it's something an alien would make if it tried to make a song about joy. Take a listen.
This video is a reversed audio recording of a supposed audio station that when reversed you can hear a somewhat robotic voice to list numbers. It's definitely odd and the visuals don't help much. However, it is hard to find any detail so I don't know if this was created for YouTube or if it was just a real radio station to begin with. So this is yet another number station recording. And I didn't even say what number stations are, so I apologize for that. Number stations are a safe way to transfer messages to others without being caught, with most number stations using numbers or Morse code to transfer words. No one knows for sure if this specific number station was used for anything bad or sinister, or if it was just something normal, but we sadly will most likely never know. Eat the Hell is a video of someone cosplaying as Sonic the Hedgehog. Now I'm not 100% sure if the original was called this because the only videos left are re-uploaded, edited versions, with slightly different names. However, what makes this video weird and disturbing is the fact that the cosplay looks so bad, and the way they eat the hot dog makes me feel so gross. The Sad Man is an animation about a creature that is all alone until coming across a young girl. The creature befriends her, and throughout the short we realize that this creature, which is referred to as the Sad Man, is wearing a mask. The girl takes the mask off to see a terrifying creature, then the Sad Man eats her. When watching this short, I have no idea if I should be scared or depressed. Sounds of Saturn is an audio recording NASA was able to get of the planet Saturn. You know, the one with the rings? Yeah, that one. The audio is super disturbing and makes you feel helpless. The way I like to think about it is, imagine this as the sound of Earth. Now this is what it would sound like if you were on Saturn. Yeah, I think I'm going to stick with Earth for right now. Now this entry is a bit different. I'm not exactly sure why it's on this list because I can't really find too much about the logo community. The only thing I can think of is the fact that every logo ever is being simplified into much more safe and generic logos and people go crazy over that, but besides that, I have no idea. Unfavorable Semicircle is a channel that posts random audio and visuals. Some show just one picture and others flash random color. I have no idea what the channel means and the original channel has either been deleted or terminated and all that's left is an archive channel. Definitely odd. So if we thought Cocomelon was bad, it at least is better than this. This video shows a tomato, I think, dancing to a Hindi nursery rhyme. Now obviously I'm pretty sure this video is normal in that area and is probably enjoyed by plenty of little kids. And for me the animation is what's odd and creepy. Not the song because this song is a jam. Dancing Man Wearing Horse Mask Cooks Wild Mushrooms is not a documentary about my adolescence, but is in fact a video that shows exactly what the title claims. And I have no idea how to feel about that. Take a look.
Mad Cat Lady is a channel that truly lives up to its name with all the videos typically being about cats. Some videos show the channel owner trying to cat filter on with apps, some show kitty litter physics, and their most popular video titled Meow Meow I'm a Cat is so much to handle I can't even begin to describe it. You Need Me is a Gmod video that shows a creature chasing you down repeating the phrase You Need Me. Besides that, nothing else happens. Who's Hungry is a very popular short YouTube video made by David Ochis. The film shows a young girl and boy being snatched up by a man pretending to be an ice cream truck driver. The man takes them to his home and that is where we find he cannibalizes children. The short film is very well made and deserves to be watched. Mr. Nosy Bonk is a children's TV character that is known for his long nose. The opinion on this character is mixed to say the least, with some people not finding him scary at all and others thinking he is terrifying. I personally don't find him creepy, but seeing his nose makes me feel a whole lot better about mine. This video shows a man and his dog out in the woods, minding their own business, till the man notices a mom watching her daughter levitating. The dog then barks, spooking the people, and they run away. The video is definitely freaky, and the fact that the mom looks so chill about seeing her daughter float shows that this isn't anything new to her. Doll Moves Head on Camera is a video that shows a young girl holding a doll. The doll tilts its head and the person filming notices, letting the other girl know, which causes the girl to scream, then the video ends. It's definitely creepy and I can't find any explanation on this, however, I like to imagine that the girl said something about the doll and the doll was not happy. Hey guys, I just got my ugly ass doll for Christmas. I'm going to return it. What the hell did you just say? The Iceberg claims that Other Lily is a YouTube channel, however, I could not find any YouTube channel with this name. At least not any that posts anything creepy or weird or disturbing. All I can find is a short film that's titled Other Lily, so I will talk about that. Other Lily is a beautifully animated short film that is definitely creepy with an ending that will leave you shocked. I won't go into too much depth because this one deserves to be seen, but I highly suggest checking it out whenever you can. The Chuckle Hut is a one minute video that loops a 3D animated character smiling while intense music plays in the background. Gaming in the Clinton Years was a YouTube series that focused on reviewing video games from 1993 to 2000, which was the year Bill Clinton was president. The reviews were a lot less of reviews and were walking people through the game and also talking about cheat codes and hacks. They would also ramble and not be straightforward with their thoughts. A definitely odd approach to any review. Rubber Fruit is a well-known YouTube channel that creates Gmod videos. They definitely are exactly what you expect with funny Gmod faces and funny dialogue and that's it. This entry refers to a part of the soundtrack of the game called Barbie Horse Adventure Blue Ribbon Race. The music is very odd and out of place for a Barbie game, but isn't too bad. Bedrock State Police have issued an alert for an unknown man last seen wearing a blue shirt, black trousers, black shoes, and black. Pinch Face is an ad that was shown on Nickelodeon. The character has dentures and googly eyes. In my opinion, it isn't weird or creepy, but I can see how it would affect little kids. The bloop is one of, if not the loudest recorded sound ever from the ocean. The sound turned out to be an iceberg that scraped against the bottom of the ocean. However, a lot of people thought it was a creature or a monster. It's definitely interesting and when sped up, the recording makes a bloop sound which is how it got the name, the bloop.
SpongeBob is a video I can best describe as an MS Paint slideshow. The video shows odd pictures of SpongeBob and some pictures even show nudity. All this happens while I believe the theme song for SpongeBob SquarePants is played in reverse. This was a piece of music that was created to recreate the feeling of the bombing attacks on Japan. It's an incredibly beautiful yet terrifying piece of music that creates such a horrible situation and just goes down to show how powerful music is. You know what, it's been a while since we talked about Adult Swim, so here we are again. This house has people and it shows camera footage of people supposedly living in a normal life. Until we notice that somebody is just laying on the kitchen floor. Now, the most well liked comment on this video describes how it could all be a metaphor for how everyone in your household will react to you dealing with issues. Where your family around you doesn't truly understand what you're dealing with. It really is an interesting video and of course, disturbing. I mean, it is Adult Swim after all. Bobby Yeah is a short film that is so odd, so strange that I had such an overload of emotions that I thought I was going to explode. The video shows some very gross visuals, which is why this video is not safe for work, but it's obviously still on YouTube, so if you want to see it, you can, but I would recommend watching it as sober as possible. Cat Groove is a song created by Pair of Stellar, but I can't tell why it's on this list. It's not creepy, it's not disturbing, and it's not weird. It's just a normal song. There aren't any videos that are creepy or disturbing that have this song in it, so I honestly have no idea, so let me know if you guys have any ideas. So, you'll never guess what this video is about. That's right, it's about the economic crisis and how people born rich will almost always stay rich and always have a place of power, but people born poor struggle to make their way to the top, and even then the poor will still work for the people born rich. <laughs> I'm just kidding, it's about bananas exploding on someone's face. You silly goose. The video has an odd and creepy feeling to it, with the person who has the bananas on their face making no noise and the only thing you can hear is the firecrackers going off and the lighter clicking. Dollface is a video trying to say how makeup can consume you and make you into something you're not. The video definitely is a bit unsettling, but keep in mind it's okay to enjoy makeup, just don't let it consume you. So yeah, this video exists. This video is a story told through The Sims that shows a sim getting pregnant, then giving birth, then not being able to control herself, and cooking the baby, then eating it. Definitely takes the phrase, a nice home cooked meal, to a whole different level. Go Anime is basically just a much nicer, more polished MS Paint look, but definitely isn't any less weird. Some of these videos try to create stories such as, Caillou tries to smoke, definitely a classic. But besides the stories people make with this animation software, the animation software itself isn't that bad. Buff Coral is a YouTuber who makes cover videos of popular music with him dancing and singing. It's honestly super funny and enjoyable and that's all I have to say. It's just a man enjoying life singing and dancing and I can't be mad about it. To the Ark is a YouTube channel that was made to respond to the Marble Hornet series. For those who don't remember or skip through the video, Marble Hornets is a YouTube series I talked about when I was talking about the Slenderman ARGs. The channel posts cryptic clues that would then tie into the original Marble Hornets story. Pretty cool. No, Lumpy Touch is not the description my girlfriend gives about my penis. It is in fact a YouTube channel that makes extremely well-made animations, a lot of which are in the style of old Game Boy games. The channel is super interesting and has some super cool and disturbing creature design. This channel is all about showing the weird side of Japan, with showing odd commercials and clips from TV shows and movies. It's very interesting and makes for a very fun binge watch. No, I will not talk about gotcha tubers. I refuse. 
Burger and Fries is a video that shows off a cat and he is just the nicest thing. I honestly find this video so funny, like I laughed so hard I cried. Take a look. I want everybody to meet Burger and Fries. Enter Macy and Cube is a YouTube series that has, from what I know, three episodes. They are super well made, although I don't see why it's on this list. Because it's just a goofy series that shows a kid named Max and a Cube AI robot that he is partnered with. Satellite City shows animated dragons and creatures that talk to a human. It's definitely weird, but I can't lie, these creatures are animated very well. But I'm really struggling with a lot of these similar videos because I don't want to repeat myself. So I apologize if I say similar things about similar videos. Mama Movement Test is a behind the scenes footage of the movie Mama that shows actor Javier Botet trying out different ways the creature named Mama would move. It's super interesting and is actually really creepy. Sewer Creature Spotted is a video that shows a robot down in the sewers until it stops after capturing some sort of creature that stares blankly into the camera, hiding behind a wall until slowly showing more of its body. I actually remember seeing this video so often in top 10s and top 5s and it's definitely creeped me out as a kid. Now is it real? Most likely 100% not. But is it cool? Yes. Hamburger Lady is a song made by a band called Throbbing Crystals. The lyrics of the song was taken from a doctor's note that were used to describe a burn victim. The way they created the song makes me feel so uneasy and although a very interesting song, I'm not too sure if I would listen to it on my way to work. The Peanut Vendor is an experimental animation from back in 1933. The animation wasn't complete for the longest time until somewhat recently a full version was found. In my opinion, the animation is insanely interesting and far, far from creepy. However, I 100% see how some people may find this creepy. The video shows a monkey who sings a song promoting his peanuts. Matt Shane Piano is a video showing what appears to be a little kid playing the piano as his face cast finishes drying. Definitely a random video, but nothing more. So this is an album by artist Current93, and in my opinion a few of the songs on the album are less of songs and more of poems or spoken word poetry, to be more precise. It definitely is an interesting piece of art and has some messages in there that could definitely lead to further discussion but by far the thing that caught my attention the most is the album art. Whatever that is, it's looking straight at my soul and I don't like it one bit. Malice in Wonderland is a 4 minute short that shows super odd art of characters from Alice in Wonderland, and the short shows a lot of boops, pee pee, and the audio consists of screaming and a light humming noise, but besides that I feel like if I got caught watching this I would be hit with a belt. So this video is somewhat of a collaboration in ways of some of the past videos I've talked about. The way these horses look remind me of the dolphin muzzle video from a while back. 
and the person who directed the Little Baby's Ice Cream commercial also made this, so of course that means one thing for sure. This video is weird. The way the horses, actually now that I think about it, I don't know if I should even be calling these things horses. The way these things move their tongue is very disturbing. And oh yeah, this is actually a real commercial. So if you were a kid and saw that, I am so sorry for you. This video is yet another video I remember seeing in a lot of old top 5 videos and is one that actually scared me when I was young. But to be fair, Shadow and Dark Link scared me back then, so maybe a real paranormal entity crying in a corner of a house is most likely a contender of scariest things I saw. However, I will admit this video is made so well it actually sent shivers through my spine and gave me goosebumps, so I will warn you to be careful if you get spooked easy. Take a look. Quality Meats is a 15 second clip that shows CGI monsters made out of meats inside of a grocery store. Definitely odd, but the fact that you can so obviously tell that these creatures are green screened makes this a lot less scary. Peppermint Park is a kid's puppet show that was created in a similar style to Sesame Street. The show feels much more like a YouTube parody analog horror short rather than an actual kid's show. The show is most likely creepy due to how the puppets look and act. A few of the puppets look super strange due to them appearing as if they have a body of a full grown adult and then it's just the puppet's head. So this refers to the song called Frankie Teardrop that was part of an album called Suicide. The video mixes atmospheric sounds such as crickets and then the lead vocalist screams periodically throughout the song. The lyrics are super dark and have pretty dark meanings with the final lyrics saying, Teardrop Frankie puts a gun to his head. Frankie's dead. The lyrics make you feel disturbed and along with the screaming and the atmospheric crickets the song makes you feel terrified. So for those who don't know, there was a volcano called Krakatoa, and is the loudest sound ever recorded. Now obviously just playing this audio through YouTube doesn't really do it justice, so let me explain exactly how loud it is. I can describe how loud it is with decibels, which is how sound is measured. A lawn mower is only 85 decibels loud. A gunshot is around 140 decibels, and Krakatoa's eruption was 310 decibels, so that goes to show just how loud this was. Dude Man 2 is a YouTube channel that shows basically furry dolls that are typically dressed up in some type of lingerie and also to make things feel even more gross, a lot of the furry dolls are in stop motion so they can talk. Now I'm not here to make fun of anybody's kinks, if you're furry more power to you, but something about this just doesn't feel right. So I'm not too sure what this entry is referring to. I'm leaning towards the idea that this is referring to how Oz the Great and Powerful looks when he was finally revealed. Which if that is the case makes a lot of sense because I do remember this scene scaring me. But if I'm not correct about this I have no idea what else it could be. So fun fact, this short film was created by Jim Henson of all people which for those who don't know made a whole lot of movies and shows involving puppets such as Kermit the Frog and Sid the Science Kid. The film stars a floating set of eyes and a mouth talking about certain things such as what kind of memories are in his head. The short film is not that creepy or disturbing but it's a bit odd to see and the voices of the character is actually super relaxing but also makes you feel uneasy if that makes sense. You know, I've, um, I've learned to walk around inside my own head. Now, that may sound silly to you, but 
it's been very, very helpful to me. Let, let me show you how it's done, in case you want to try it. Now, when you first come to the brain, you have to pass through the medulla oblongata. That's where things like breathing and heartbeat and glands are controlled. It's, it's kind of like plumbing. It's not very interesting. But if you keep going, you cross into the cerebrum. And that's where all your thoughts are. The Bells is a short film that has somewhat recently got more popular due to a lot of big YouTubers reacting to it, such as Jacksepticeye. The film is very well made, and the creature that is in this short is also super unique and creepy. And this is a film that you should definitely try to check out. Creepy singing android head. So this video records a man standing outside another man's window, blankly staring at him, while the man who records calls the police. This isn't a real stalking video, and the channel has 30 other videos that show more, so my guess is that this is either an ARG or just something made for fun, but luckily it is not real. Don't Put It In Your Mouth is a children's song that features blue monsters singing about not putting things in your mouth. That's a super important message for kids to learn, and although people who fear puppets might find this scary, I think it's actually charming and delightful, and the song they sing is actually super catchy. However, the song will not stop me from ingesting batteries. Ultimate Muscle Roller Legend shows two super buff guys, one that is a motorcycle and one that rides him, all while random pictures of naked bodybuilders pop up on screen. And the fact that I'm able to create such a sentence such as that shows what direction humanity is headed. And I'm being honest when I say you could probably take any type of drug on earth and what you see will not compare to this video. Beeble Fox videos no longer exist on their channel, but I think a few people may recognize his most popular video that shows him cutting open a mannequin doll. However, apparently there has been some accusations revolving around a girl that was 15 at the time. And I won't go into detail because, I'll be honest, I don't feel comfortable talking about that type of thing. However, a channel that goes by the name Rob's Media made a great video on it, so I highly suggest you watch it. SNCH is an ARG channel that posted regular looking videos with random titles, and their last video being a blank screen with a super loud sound. And the rest of the videos appear to be similar to vlogs, however the titles do decode into actual words, such as the last four videos decoding to, where is your daughter? This ARG is mostly solved, but there are some loose ends that need to be figured out. Jared Lee Leonard filmed a video talking about how unfair life was, and he talked about what he would like to do to the people at his school. He also can be seen getting mad at a teacher saying things such as, thanks for the B, I'm pissed. However, what was originally a scary video turned real because Jared ended up committing to his thoughts and went to a political get together and killed six people. It truly is sickening stuff and videos and stories like this will always scare me because it's actually real and not a hoax or anything. Alright, so here's what we're doing. We're examining the torture of students. We are looking at students who have been tortured. Their low income pay in two wars. The war that we are in right now is currently illegal under the Constitution. What makes it illegal is the currency. The date is also wrong. It's impossible for me that date. It's mind control. How's it going? Thanks for the B. I'm, I'm pissed off. What's that? <laughs> I lost my freedom of speech to that guy. And this is this is what happens. And I'm in a terrible place. This is the school that I go to. This is my genocide school. <laughs>
where I'm going to be homeless because of the school. <laughs> I haven't forgot the teacher that gave me the B for freedom of speech. That's where my sociology class was. And then here's the microwave that I'll be using when I'm homeless. This is the cafeteria, they make illegal transactions. This is Pima Community College, one of the biggest scams in America. The students are so illiterate that it affects their daily lives. Here's the best part, the bookstore. The bookstore, the bookstore, the bookstore. It is so illegal to sell this book under the Constitution. We are also centered by our freedom of speech. This is a recording of a supposed rapist slash serial killer nicknamed the Night Stalker. The Night Stalker would leave messages on his victim's answering machine saying he would kill them while panting. And from what I found, this Night Stalker actually has never been caught. Take a listen. I can't tell if this video is funny or creepy. The video shows what appears to be a nun singing and dancing while videos periodically show on screen, such as a little boy playing with guns. The video reminds me a lot of Rubber Johnny in a few ways. Notori Has Gone Mad is a video that is in Japanese that shows an animated girl dancing and singing until the video glitches and shows her going mad with a distorted face and the music changing. It's yet another video of cute animation turned scary, so nothing much to talk about with this one. Rabies and a Human is a video from way back in the day that shows humans who have sadly contracted rabies, and the video goes into the symptoms of rabies and what it does to a human, such as giving a human hydrophobia where it nearly is impossible for a patient to drink water. It's extremely sad and it must be incredibly painful. The video shows the man slowly die of rabies, and the man dies on camera. I will not show his passing, but I will show the first few symptoms. They have come to a local facility of the Pasteur Institute in order to receive treatment. This man developed symptoms of rabies. On the third day of the disease, he displays a characteristic restlessness and agitation. The most familiar clinical symptom of rabies is associated with difficulty in swallowing. When fluid comes in contact with the throat, it is violently expelled, at the same time producing painful, spasmodic muscular contractions, hence the term hydrophobia, or fear of water. The accessory muscles of respiration are also affected by the attempt to swallow, so that the patient chokes and gasps for air. In order to avoid swallowing, he drools a few. Knock Plus 10 is a YouTube channel that is an ARG about an AI computer. It's very interesting and has some decent jump scares. The videos are very much analog horror style, so if you're into those videos, definitely check this channel out. The Bloody Door is a short film that was created with the idea that if you watch it, you die, which again, like all these previous cursed videos, is not real. The video shows a door with blood on it dripping down, then the door opens and shows a person rubbing blood on his face then screaming. 
The video has gotten very little views and reaction videos of this video has got a lot more views and even Rhett and Link from Good Mythical Morning reacted to this video. So Goosh Goosh is a clip from an anime that shows a huge man having sex with a smaller man and his uh, meat stick is so big it basically rips him in half from the inside. Never thought I'd be talking about this stuff but I guess here we are. Cyber 8 is another 3D animation channel that makes disturbed versions of children's shows such as Shrek Saves Children from Auschwitz. And with these videos you have your classic robotic voice acting and crude animation. K. Chris Lee has changed his channel name to Z. How Lee since his last video two years ago. So this channel was all about following and talking about the Chinese government. At first his videos seemed to be normal vlogs, however his last three videos switched up real fast. His first switched up video shows signs something was wrong with a video titled SOS that apparently shows him being chased by the Chinese government with him panicking and driving away. His next video was a live stream that was almost four hours long that shows him hiding from the government or police and the last few moments show him talking to the police through the door then the stream ends due to poor connection. His last video is titled, I'm K. Chris. Here's something about me since February 26th. The video shows him standing in a white room explaining how he was in the wrong and how the police were just doing their job and they are actually nice and perfect. A lot of people believe this to be scripted and the government forcing him to create this video. And some also think he was punished and was killed for the videos he posted. I'm not too sure what to think and it's very difficult to get a full understanding since I don't speak their language. But I do hope he is safe and this is all just a very well planned ARG or YouTube stunt. 91A51CD0 is a YouTube channel that is a supposed serial killer or stalker that posts random creepy edited videos that sometimes post videos of them stalking. All the titles on the channel are upside down with their most recent video looking like random letters actually spelling out the word spill. And from what I've read and been able to dig up, this is yet another channel ARG or something creepy in the hopes of getting attention. The Whistler shows what appears to be a calming video by the water while fireworks go off in the background. However, if you listen closely, you can hear someone whistling in the background with the whistle slowly getting closer. The story is supposedly that this person was stalked by someone who would taunt them with their whistling when they were a kid. However, stopped seeing them for the longest time until this video where they found they were once again being stalked. It's an interesting video and is obviously fake, but it makes a cool story. Hammerhead is a video that is about 9 minutes long and is just static till the last few seconds where an odd creature can be seen looking at the camera. However, this video is supposed to go alongside a creepypasta that is about camera heads, which much like Siren Head has cameras as a head, which now that I'm thinking about it is pretty self explanatory and I don't know why I felt the need to explain it. The video is definitely creepy due to how long the video is, so you have so much tension built up and the fact that no additional sound plays once the creature is shown makes this so much better. The Station Nightclub Fire is a video showing a concert from 2003 that turned horribly wrong. The video starts off happy enough with people dancing and having fun until something catches fire. In a panic people run for their lives trying to get out. 
In a panic, people ran for their lives trying to get out and sadly the room filled quickly with toxic chemicals and smoke and the fire killed 100 people and injured 230. The audio is what is even more disturbing due to you actually able to hear the people screaming. The old tape is a piece of audio that you might actually have heard of, or at least a part of it. The tape isn't anything special, it starts off relaxing then turns into something dark with a random girl talking. Take a listen. In Miami, there was a man who was naked, found ripping and eating the flesh off of a homeless man, and these videos show the 911 calls that came in while it happened. The man, I believe, was on some type of drug and ripped the man's eyes out and ate them. The 911 calls aren't anything too scary because the people who called didn't understand how horrible the situation was, but the fact that the man was basically being eaten alive is horrible. Nicholas Fairob is a YouTube channel that makes MS Paint animations that again, make disturbed versions of children videos such as Tom and Jerry, Sonic, and Spongebob. Nothing too much to see, the Tom and Jerry video shows Tom cutting Jerry in half, so I guess that's a thing that exists. This video is super odd. At first it appears to be just another vlog about trying makeup and clothes, but turns into something really odd and surreal. It's really hard to explain, so I'll just show you. Is it a chipmunk? Golden Rebel 25 was part of a mapping community. The person behind this channel claimed that he had cancer and was struggling with that, and therefore could not create content as much as he wanted, and then sadly, he died due to complications. Three years later, the channel randomly went live and showed a random person walking around a dark road saying random things and can be heard saying things such as, it's coming, and that the video ends. Definitely odd, however, the video was proven to be a hoax with the channel being run by the one legged facet and he admitted to running the other account and faking their death. The Infinite Fractal is a YouTube channel that shows pictures of things called fractals that are a mathematical shape that can be zoomed in and never ends. Not only is that trippy by itself, but paired with music and flashing colors, this channel makes you feel some type of way, although I can't tell exactly what way I feel about. IB area is something that I can't possibly comprehend. There's so much random nothing going on that I can't even process it, let alone with odd editing choices such as a random tree just spinning around on screen. It's safe to say this is one of the oddest things I've seen so far. Take a look. Okay. I told you. <laughs> I totally just got a tattoo on my belly. Oops. I mean my arm. I eeny meeny mighty mowed the wall. General design. Okay, I did it. And I'm totally happy about it. Three times, which obviously means I have a dolphin and a butterfly elsewhere on my body. Can someone say energy drink? Energy drink. I said someone. Energy drink. Hi guys. Awful Fawful makes YouTube poops and animated videos. The only thing I can see that could be considered scary or disturbing is their video titled Deliver Us 1 Plus 2, which is a YouTube poop of Spongebob and shows Spongebob and friends doing devilish things with analog horror aesthetics to it. Not that scary or disturbing at all in comparison to what we've seen so far, but it's still interesting. 
The title to this video is Polish, so there is no way I'd be able to pronounce it, so I won't even try. The art in this video is very odd and unique, with the art style being similar to a flip book, but a lot more rough around the edges. Hey Kids is a kids YouTube channel that does animations of kid nursery rhymes, similar to Cocomelon. Not much to say, it's just another kids channel that is trying to make millions. Postal is a video game I talked about in my Disturbing Video Game Iceberg. And while researching that, I found that this game has some terrifying music. Postal 1 has some crazy music, but when it comes to games, typically menus and loading screens are calm. Well, not with Postal. Take a listen. This IHOP commercial shows kids running down a hill holding tons of balloons, all while trippy music plays in the background and what sounds like a ripoff of Alvin singing. Not too bad, not too scary, but a bit odd. Selena Delgado is a picture of a missing person that was shown on the channel 5 News Network in Mexico and is well known because many people believe her not to be real. Many people feel the picture was created to seem uncanny and to scare people into remembering this missing person announcement. I'm not too sure if this Selena Delgado is real, however if they are, I hope they are safe and well. Spongebob Sick Pants is a crude parody of Spongebob that shows things such as Squidward killing himself and Spongebob eating people. So you know, normal Spongebob shenanigans. I'm not too sure what this is for. I found songs by the name Follow Me, but nothing that is considered weird, creepy, or disturbing. The only thing I can think of is maybe Five Nights at Freddy's, because there is a part in Five Nights at Freddy's Pizzeria Simulator. The scene shows Golden Bonnie luring a little girl away, saying, Follow Me. But if that's not it, I have no idea. This is a video that shows a doll of Louis Armstrong singing, but the batteries are low and makes it sound much creepier than intended. I don't really have a fear of dolls or anything, so things like this don't really scare me. But I feel if you hated dolls, this would be very creepy. Take a listen. So this channel actually no longer exists, but believe it or not I remember seeing this channel when I was younger, so I actually know what it is. So Boot666 had another channel with a similar name, however I'm not 100% sure what that name was. The channel showed a person in different types of boots and heels crushing things such as fruits and nuts which some people might find satisfying. However this channel had a second channel called Boot666. This channel also focused on this person wearing heels and boots to crush things, however this time it was not nuts or fruits, it was actually living creatures. They would stomp frogs to death, snails, and possibly even baby kittens, although I'm not 100% sure on that. Definitely disturbed stuff, and thankfully this channel is gone, hopefully forever. This video shows a floating head attached to what appears to be a snake body, of some sorts. It's such an odd video. I can't find any information on it, so my guess is that it's either an art piece or stunt. Or also maybe could be for film or short video, although I'm not too sure. Pope the Performer is a kids TV show from Japan that aired from 2001 to 2003. 
It's definitely an odd show and it actually got a lot of people upset because of the violence that is in this show. It's super odd, but I mean it's from Japan so it's not too surprising. Hugo Vomit is another ARG channel that has four videos. Altogether, they haven't posted since 2008, so I believe this ARG was abandoned. Their last video shows random clips of early day electronics while random music plays. Lisa Home is a YouTube channel with one video, titled 13. The video shows a timer and ticks down from one minute, however the video is only 12 seconds long. Lisa Holm was a 17 year old girl from Sweden who ended up disappearing out of thin air. The disappearance was a huge deal in Sweden, and the search party for her is still the biggest search party in Sweden history. Lisa was sadly found dead at a farm near where she first disappeared, and the day she was found was exactly 13 days after the original YouTube video was uploaded. However, from what I have found, the original video was not titled 13 and was renamed, so people think that this channel had nothing to do with Lisa and was just made as a sick joke. Walls Fall Out is a YouTube music video that has some of the oddest visuals I have ever seen. The video consists of what appears to be a young girl with an edited face onto her face, singing the lyrics along with another girl who is extremely skinny and also appears to have an edited face. The video shows things such as feces falling into a mouth and an animated character fisting another animated character's anus. But I'm not even going to sugarcoat this, this song goes hard. I actually got this song stuck in my head and I really needed to get it out. Tonetta is an artist that is well known for her song Yummy Yummy Pizza, along with a dance video to it. And I'm not sure if the dance is official or just some random guy living his best life, but I'm not lying when I say that if I could, I would 100% dress and dance like this. Global Worldwide is another ARG channel that is very, very unknown, with their most viewed video only having 17,000 views. Their newest video was posted six months ago and shows pretty peaceful scenery and mountains. Global Worldwide has thousands upon thousands of videos and was actually proven to be just an art project and was created with AI. My Dark Journal is a YouTube channel that has a lot of strange videos, some are your classic scary sound, scary pictures, some actually are unique and interesting. Their more actual unique videos leave you wondering what is going on and what is the purpose of these videos. The main character on this channel is what appears to be a girl in a wedding dress. The channel's most popular video shows her slowly walking towards the camera. The camera then glitches and cuts to her using bloody scissors on a victim. From what I see about this channel, the original few videos are regular vlog videos that show guys talking and having fun, but the channel slowly turned into an analog horror channel with animated characters and PSA type videos. I'm not too sure if this is an ARG as well, but again, I'm not sure. I could not find anything on YouTube, so I had to go into everyone's favorite app, Reddit, and I found a thread that discussed it being part of an ARG. But everyone was agreeing that the video was so brutal that there was no way it could possibly be an ARG. So this one really intrigued me, so I went deeper. I followed a few links that eventually led me to a 4chan thread on X Paranormal, with people discussing how there was this video found that was titled Try GF, and apparently multiple accounts were uploading the same video. And the video is very odd, it's just a 6 second clip of the movie Elf with no audio. Obviously I was a bit confused so I kept reading the thread until I found a link to an unlisted video titled DTBOTDJNPTDJYN. The video shows someone in a bathtub filled with blood. I'm not sure what to think of this and I won't show the video because it may be real. And the video actually is age restricted. But definitely a very strange rabbit hole and actually probably needs to have a proper video done on it. So this is such a strange video. I'm not sure what language the video is in, but I can't tell what kind of creature is shown. It looks like a human hybrid, but the way the people act is just so funny. 
The creature just shows up right behind them and they don't give a crap about him. While watching the video with subtitles, the cameraman calls the creature a Tayo, which is an undead infant. It's an interesting video though, but it's obviously fake. This channel used to have a decent amount of videos that gained a lot of attention, however has since been deleted, and now only two videos remain. The videos that were deleted were confession videos of the uploader crying stating he didn't mean to kill them and he wasn't in his right state of mind. A lot of videos were posted with this premise with the uploader going crazy talking about who he killed and why no one would find the body. And the reason the videos were deleted was because this was all just another ARG and people thought they were real. And the uploader didn't want to get in trouble so therefore he deleted the videos. Sinister Scribbles is a YouTube channel that creates horror videos based off a picture or video. For example, they've created a cursed version of the Crinkles commercial and has also made a few creepy pastas such as one titled Its Name is Will. Very interesting stuff and the art Sinister Scribbles does is actually really good. Mondo Films is a subgenre of movies that are mostly in the style of documentaries that typically focus on sensitive subjects such as death and sex, and a lot of these movies and documentaries can be found on YouTube. The most popular one I can find is a movie called Faces of Death that shows and talks about people who have died due to specific circumstances, such as daredevils failing stunts and dying. Lewis Praxton is a YouTube channel that posted way back in 2007. Almost all the videos on this channel seem normal with normal vlog update videos, food videos. However, the video that would get the most attention is their video titled Please Help that gained more than 600,000 views. The video shows two girls talking till they notice someone around their house. The lights then go out and the video ends with the girls screaming in panic and the video ends. And this was their last video ever posted. It's okay though, the channel was all just acting and was not real, so luckily no one got hurt. This channel has 30 videos that all have a central theme, such as one episode being called Halloween and others being called Under the House and Lost. The channel production is super good and makes you feel like you are actually watching a found footage Netflix show. But yes, it's another ARG and not much to say. Tricky Madness 2 is an animation music video that shows a clown creature attacking and eating another creature with sunglasses. It's definitely a crazy video that is all about good old blood and gore. This video is a visual representation of how we would view biblically accurate angels. I'm not going to show it on screen due to the fact the video has a lot of flashing lights and can cause seizures, but the video is interesting and is beautifully creepy in a way. GTA fighting videos refer to videos that have real life people modded into GTA to fight to the death. These videos give off the same feeling as Elsagate videos, but are just a bit more unknown. V Manny channel has tons of 3D animation videos that show characters in situations that deal with things such as school, hygiene, or even kidnapping of all things. The videos are disturbing due to the fact they are catered towards kids. And if they were catered towards adults or just random viewers, I feel like this would be a lot less disturbing. This channel posts a lot of YouTube shorts. The channel makes a lot of edits and animated videos. It makes a lot of videos based off autophobia, which is the fear of being alone, and goes hand in hand with the concept of liminal spaces. Cat and the Fiddle and Mickey is a clip from a movie titled March of the Wooden Soldier, and I'm not too sure why, but others claim the scene is from a movie called Babes in Toyland. However, I actually watched this movie and did not see this scene. However, the March of the Wooden Soldier movie did have this scene. I will admit, in black and white, this scene is pretty creepy, especially due to Mickey's crack addict eyes, but besides the uncanny feeling of the characters, the movie is actually really cute and recreates a lot of beloved storybook tales. One Potato, Two Potato is a lost music video from the early 80s that show a man singing while wearing masks and flipping the camera off. 
The end of the video shows the man hanging himself. There are some theories that the guy actually did kill himself, however this is false and not the case. The song itself is decent and in my opinion sounds very similar to the Bird is the Word song. Banjo Gyro is a video that was made in the year 2000 and shows fast food workers making food for their customers. The video is very much analog horror and the models for the main characters are uncanny to say the least. But all that aside, this video is actually beautifully animated and feels like an early 2000s restaurant. This is an audio recording that recorded the first female astronaut coming back to Earth. She can be heard saying things such as, I feel hot and I'm running out of oxygen. What makes this even more odd is the fact that Russia denies this. They deny not only the audio, but claim this expedition never happened. So we don't have any 100% proof this is real, but most people believe it is to be real. This is a storyboard of a short film that never happened. The storyboard shows a shadowed figure killing a few other characters to find its way inside a house. The figure saves the creature, pushes it down, then leaves. After reading the comments, the artist claims that the story is based off relationships, and states how the main character is willing to save their significant other, but isn't able to forgive them. It's very interesting and it's a shame it never saw the light of day. This video shows ghostly hooded figures staring at the camera while audio plays. The recording in the background is of the speech given by the leader of the Heaven's Gate cult before they committed suicide. This video is definitely creepy and the audio makes this a hundred times worse. Cryptid Dance is a video showing random 3D characters with masks on. All while creepy and ambient music plays in the background and the faces will change with their eyes moving and changing sizes. Oh, I remember this video. This is actually a home video of me at my first school dance. The Dancing Pig is a video from 1907. The video shows a pig mascot trying to win over a girl, however gets humiliated, stripped, and put into women's clothing. This video is not that creepy in my opinion except for the end, because after the show there is a close up on the pig. It shows the pig sticking his tongue out and you can see his teeth. It's very disturbing but besides this last part it's a very tame video and it's actually very impressive for its time. Buyer's Market is an album created by Peter Sotos that is about a disgusting topic, which is sexually abused children. The album also uses real sounds of children's screams and cries. The album is very unsettling and is by far the most disturbing thing I've talked about so far in my opinion. This is a fake video that is a play on early 90s documentaries. The video talks about a disease that makes metal implants grow inside of your body. The video is all about body horror and does it pretty well, with finding the fine line between disturbing and over the top. It's not that disturbing, just a bit gross in some parts, and I have a feeling that after that last segment we won't find anything more disturbing for a while. This is a video about three AI robots that have a conversation with each other. Definitely creepy due to knowing what computers are capable of, however this clip is just interesting. And it's crazy how humans can create such things, but maybe it's best not to make robots that can communicate with each other. This album sounds as if it was ripped right out of the Ring movie, and probably isn't going to be in a lot of people's playlist, let's just put it that way. Pig Day is a video that shows a man wearing a pig mask. The reason this video is titled Pig Day is due to the person in the video celebrating something called Pig Day, and this celebration celebrates the existence of pigs. Besides the mask itself, I don't find this video creepy or disturbing, and mostly find this video funny actually. Uncle Tom 45044 is a YouTube channel that has a lot of horribly made 3D girls and furries dancing doing random things. 
I think it's fair to say Uncle Tom has a certain taste for women. One STPAI is a song that was found inside a rhythm game called Teksua Netsu for the Wii. The game is a rhythm game with 70 songs, however hackers were able to find a hidden 71st song that is unlike any of the other songs. It's not even a song really, it's just a mix of people screaming and random noises mixed together. In Japan, this song became a huge meme, but not too many people know of it where I'm from. Some people find this audio funny and some find it scary. Let me know what you think. Enter Syat was a failed rocket launch that happened back in 1996. The video shows a satellite rocket, and I'm not sure if you know this, but rockets are supposed to go up, not sideways. So this rocket started going sideways and blew up, destroying a small village, killing six people. The footage is definitely disturbing, and it's truly sickening knowing people died due to something completely out of their control. I can't find the exact video this is referring to, but there are a lot of similar videos. Obviously, this is just a video of dogs saying things that a human cannot. The clip showed dogs barking and being scared of supposed ghosts. However, these videos don't really scare me because although extremely intelligent creatures, dogs also get scared of their own farts and eat their own barf and poop, so who knows what they're seeing. At least we're getting a break from scary stuff for a second because this video is just weird fun. I'm the King of Rock and Roll is a music video that shows things such as dancing hot dogs and a butler with the head of a frog. It's a very fun video and after talking about and seeing the things we have seen so far, this is just a welcome change. So this one I'm not 100% sure what it is. Clicking the link provided with the iceberg leads to a deleted YouTube video, however I'm pretty confident with what I've found. Vrilion is the name of a supposed alien that was the cause of the first TV hack in 1977, which has the supposed alien saying things as, leave your weapons of evil behind. The hacking lasted about 6 minutes and although the studio came out right away and said it was a hack and wasn't real, many people believed it and think it was a real alien. Servine Birth is a creepy pasta that is centered around an albino deer that if once seen causes you to want to unlive yourself. The audio can be found and so can clips, however I'm not sure if any of these are the original. This video is a recreation of what it's like to live with schizophrenia, which is a disease that causes one to hallucinate, among other things. This video is hard to watch because it's super saddening knowing how many people suffer with this and it's a very real thing. Take a look. Worthless. He's waking up now. Oh, the phone woke him up. Don't answer. They'll know who you are. You're a waste of space. Why are you so stupid? A waste of our time. Stupid. So stupid. Worthless. We hate you. He's gonna pick up the phone. They'll know if you lie. Something Rain. wrong. Weather. Pizza. Poison. 
He's hanging up. Do you hear me? Don't eat. Out to get you. Abstractions is an internet web series that is similar to any other ARG, however it isn't made as a game and is made for entertainment and to create something unique. The videos consist of your classic Morse code thing in the background, graveyards, and audio clues. It's an interesting series, however, it's very difficult for me to explain a lot of these ARG videos without going over every detail. Because if I don't talk about every detail, it might not make sense, and I don't know how to describe these channels without saying the same thing over and over. The 15 Experience is a supposed hacker that supposedly has access to people's cameras and IP addresses and views paranormal things through these cameras. It's a very well-made series and it's basically just a type of movie split up into sections and although not real, can be a bit disturbing only because people hacking into your cameras is a real worry. So remember a while back I talked about a clip called SIGYGIS or S-I-G-Y-G-I-S? Well that was a small clip that actually came from this movie called Begotten. This movie has no dialogue and no music, just the sounds of the forest. Now it's not even a very good movie, it's super boring and unless you have read the synopsis of the movie, it's almost impossible to understand what's going on. And I actually find the standalone clip more disturbing just because it's a random video you can stumble across rather than a whole movie. Bart the General is a video that is made in MS Paint and is a parody of The Simpsons. Think of it as the same thing as all the creepy Spongebob videos we've talked about, but instead of Spongebob, it's Bart. 132 Insert 132 is a channel that makes videos that feel like a whole mix of a whole bunch of things. Their videos have a mix of comedy, horror, weirdness, and ARG-ness, if that makes sense. Nothing too much to talk about, it's just another scary video channel that has scary person in a robe and videos that are black and white and in the woods. The Grony Machine is a machine made out of what looks like bicycle tires with these kid toys attached to them. You know the ones, the ones that go like... Yeah, those. The wheels spin and as they spin, the toys make noises that kinda come close to groans and screams, but... In my opinion, not really. Take a look. The Human Pet is another YouTube ARG series that was made in the very early days of YouTube. Their last video titled This Video Takes You to Hell, Watch at Your Own Risk shows some fans of this channel trying to find clues about the ARG and finding a tape that supposedly will make you go to hell, which obviously is not true. And besides some glitches in the camera and a masked person getting close to the camera, there isn't anything too scary about this one. Pooh's Adventure is a fan-made series that is about taking Winnie the Pooh and putting him with other series such as My Little Pony, Phineas and Ferb, and a lot of others. The videos are super strange, for example, they'll take a clip of a character saying anything, then cut to another clip from Winnie the Pooh and put random text over the screen for dialogue. Not only are these videos poorly edited, but also just aren't interesting at all. Emergency.mp4 is a video of someone walking in an abandoned hospital while the fire alarm is going off, and that's the whole video. Nothing happens, and besides the heavy breathing of the person filming, there really isn't any signs of something bad happening. So this was a real thing that happened that obviously no one knows if she was actually possessed, but the tapes are real and the priest did try to exercise her. However, the girl in these videos sadly did die of malnutrition and her parents and the priest were charged with neglectful homicide. There are a few types of recordings. Video recordings and audio recordings. Some audio recordings show how she sounded before and after she was possessed. I'll show the actual recording of her, however it doesn't show anything and is very tame, and then I'll play a before and after of her voice. <laughs> Oh, das 
die sind so schlimm, die sind so grausam und so furchtbar. Nee. Das, das tut mir leid, das ist so, so leicht zu haben. Wenn es dann wirklich schlimm wird, da will man überhaupt nicht mehr, da will man kein Schlimm. The Toolbox Killers is the nickname given to Lawrence Bittaker and Roy Norris. These men were arrested after kidnapping and raping and killing five teenage girls over the span of five months. Their nickname was given to them because all items used to torture these girls were kept in a toolbox. From what I know, they only recorded the audio and I'm not going to play any of these recordings here because it is a very disturbing thing. Mr. Black Darkness 666 is a YouTube channel that isn't necessarily on this list due to the videos they make, but due to who runs the account. The person who runs the account is known for getting into a bit of trouble with people, specifically Leafy is here, where he said things such as how he wanted to kill Leafy and apparently did a ritual to try and kill Leafy. It was a lot of drama and both of them were actually on drama alert, but that's about it. Mr. Black Darkness is an odd character to say the least. Justin RPG is a huge fan of games such as Pokemon, and came out with an album where he sings about specific Pokemon and other things similar to that. I'm not even going to try to explain these songs, just take a listen to his song called The Things We Do For Love. Power for the Pokemon, the Reshiram. Too weak of a human to survive Reshiram. We are together, the strong and the weak. Things we do for love, the things we do for love. Reshiram being overprotective, she's so strong. I've got a strong wife that could kill me in one hit. Reshiram's strength is way beyond belief The things we do for love The things we do for love Like kissing a legendary When I'm just a human And you're feeling like a weakling in comparison And you're looking for a way to get stronger Light is Coming is an art piece that takes clips from the 1926 movie called The Bells, and I'm not sure how I can describe this video, it's not creepy or disturbing, but it's not exactly weird. HMR Silence is a YouTube channel with 5 videos, which 4 of which are titled with just repeating the numbers 6-9. All their videos just play random creepy sounds, and show creepy random pictures of faces and other things popping up on screen. Obviously it is probably another failed ARG, but it just blends in with all these other ARGs out there. Larry Carlson is a YouTube channel that has a video titled In Your Cube. It's a video that has a ton of flashing lights. The video also shows a doll speaking with music playing. I won't show it because I don't want any of you guys getting a seizure or hallucinating, but if you are wanting to see it, feel free to do so. This video shows an audio recording of what many to believe is Bigfoot. The audio consists of a guy talking, then stops talking after hearing loud growls and yelling from miles away. A lot of people believe it to be real. Now, I can't say for sure, and there are a lot of ways it could easily be faked, but it's definitely interesting. Take a listen. We're in for night view.
Speech after the removal of the larynx is supposed to be music. I guess. But at this point I don't even count it. It has no lyrics, no music, no nothing. The larynx is a part of the body that holds vocal cords, however some people need to get it removed due to cancer. Them getting this part removed makes it impossible for the people to speak, and the sound shown is just audio of someone trying to speak, however, only makes sounds and girly noises. Take a listen. So, the evil stick refers to a children's toy that turned out to have an incredibly disturbing thing hidden within the toy. The toy in question was a dollar store wand that was for little kids to act like princesses and fairies. However, people soon found out after peeling back the silver plate on the wand, it shows a picture of a girl staring at the camera, smiling while slitting her wrists. The product was called the evil stick and sparked so much outrage that it even got on the news. Godly Recon is a YouTube channel that no longer exists. The channel belonged to a 23 year old girl who was from Oregon. She appeared to be a normal channel until she posted a video titled Something I Need to Tell You. In the video she talks about how she thinks someone may be stalking her. She uploaded two more videos after that one. One titled I'm Taking a Break from YouTube. And the last one was only 19 seconds long and the video has her screaming and yelling. Snake Bit McGee is a YouTube channel that only posted a few videos, and the videos appear to be random uploads, such as a cave hike video and a shark tank submission video. The video that got the most attention was his video titled M Cave Hike. The video shows him searching for a cave he came across before on a previous hike. He did find the cave, however, he never went inside. People in his comment section told him to go check it out, and so, which he did. He told his family he was going out to explore the cave and was sadly never seen or heard from again. The odd thing is, is that he told his family he was going to be at the cave, however, he never brought his phone or camera with him. And if his plan was to go and film the cave, why would he not bring these items with him? I really do hope he is found safe and sound. Bingo the clown -O is an odd animation that was made to show the capability of software called Maya 1.0. The video shows a kid in a chair while clowns talk to him and puts on a circus act for him. It's an interesting style of animation, and it's definitely weird. This is a YouTube channel that shows a woman staring into a camera, crying. That is a big majority of her videos, however she has another video such as a video of her just screaming at the camera. She also has videos of her showing her scrapes and bruises. A very odd channel, but I just can't help feeling sorry for her. I really hope this is all just an act. Now, the other channel titled Rebatch is a channel that no longer exists. However, the channel consisted of her posting at least a thousand videos to her channel, all of which consisted of her screaming and being loud. Now, I'm not too sure what happened to her, and I have no idea if this channel has any reason behind it, but from what I've found, they actually got help, so that's good. Horned Grandma is a video that shows an animated picture of an elderly lady with a horn on her head. I can't really understand what the video says, but I could make out the phrase, if it wasn't for this horn, you would never be born. It's a definitely a weird ass video. A strange creature on webcam is a video that shows a man just chilling on his PC, and in the background there is a creature that can be seen in the hallway. Sadly, this video was recorded on an actual block of cheese, so it's hard to see the creature. Shirk Scan is a type of YouTube poop that is also hard to explain. The most popular one I can find is from Angry Video Game Nerd, which just makes a song out of his grunts, and that's it. So although the iceberg says this is a YouTube channel, it is actually a video that is a song that shows a guy playing with rubber bands. It's a very odd song, however the only creepy part in it for me is just the guy who has odd button eyes. 
Lin An is a YouTube channel that no longer exists, but Lin An is known for being obsessed with one of the Columbine shooters. Her most famous video was titled Eric Harris Rocks My World and shows her just sitting there repeating the phrase Eric Harris Rocks My World. This channel is almost all about aliens at NASA. It is supposed to talk about proof of aliens being real, but also has a few videos that show depictions of demons and devils. Looking this up on YouTube brought me to a channel called Baldi's Archive, and from what I gathered this unlisted video had something to do with Baldi's Basic, which is a horror game made to resemble old educational games. But after a lot more digging I found that this wasn't the case, and the video was actually a video titled I'm a CGI Pro, that shows a CGI face being stretched and moved around, and that's it. Nothing bad, but of course I could be wrong. MadHad0890 is a channel that still posts once in a while, with their last video being one month ago. This channel is on the list because of their most popular video being about an anime girl they idolize and love, with videos such as Happy Birthday to Maya Wafu and Maya Wafu Came to My Birthday. They're definitely odd. Flesh Aerobics is a video that shows someone in a onesie that looks like stitched together flesh, and they do aerobics. Definitely an odd video, but I think it's so funny how most likely at least one person on earth has actually danced to this video. Talking turd abomination is a sentence I never in a million years would have said if I didn't make this video. The video shows an animation of a brown creature with a super deep voice. It's a perfect mix of weird and funny. This channel has only two videos, so I'm not sure if other videos from this channel got taken down or deleted, but the two videos that are here are very odd. The first video is a clip from a 1960s TV broadcast of the National Anthem. Very basic and not scary, but there is a subliminal message throughout the video, where once slowed down for a split second before the text changes, letters will appear. However, this video has since proven to be a hoax, so this isn't real. Their second video titled Clinical Examination and Evaluation shows what are believed to be people who suffer from schizophrenia who are being evaluated. Definitely odd and I'm not sure if this video is also fake but considering the other one was I'm going to say this one isn't real either. Where the Dead Go to Die is a very poorly animated movie that is about kids who are haunted by a dog. The film is very graphic and is super edgy, but also is only edgy for the sake of being edgy. There's a lot of messed up things and lots of blood and gore and nudity and all of that, so this is something that I will definitely not be watching anytime soon. Proud Nothing is an animation channel that posts a lot of animations about random topics, such as him complaining that no one upvoted his reddit post and others about how he would act if he was on a talk show. Definitely is a weird channel for sure, but it's also pretty funny at times. However, they have not uploaded in three years. Kurrat963 is yet another YouTube ARG, and I'm just gonna be honest. After days upon days of researching these videos, I'm starting to lose my mind. All these ARGs are so similar, and it's driving me mad. I have no idea how much more of staring at static with flashing things on screen I can take. The West Records is a YouTube channel that is based around a hard drive found with corrupt files and are posted to the channel. And yes, although another ARG, or web series I guess, this is already much better than the previous one. Because it brings a uniqueness with it and a lot of these videos take place in green forces and are in the style vlogs. And the acting isn't amazing but at least it tries to be interesting with the story very similar to Marble Hornets. Glenn Floyd is a YouTube channel that tries to talk about the cruelty and brutality of psychiatrists, and shows videos of people supposedly being harassed, however these are the only videos of this type on his channel. The rest appear to be random uploads or whatever comes to his mind. Big Butt Woman Farts is a video that is self-explanatory, it just shows a woman farting. But believe it or not, you know that uh, fart meme that is used a lot and I even used it in a lot of my older videos? Yep, this is where it originates from. 
You have 20 seconds to stop this cursed video. It's a supposed cursed YouTube video that will cause a friend who passed away at a young age visit you. And the instructions the video gives is not to talk or interact with this ghost. Obviously again this is fake and it isn't real. The video shows graveyards and angel statues all while audio of someone walking through the woods play. I'm glad I'm seeing this video this low on the iceberg because basically what this video shows is random clips of a ton of videos we already talked about such as Illusion of Bias, The Peanut Vendor, and other random clips. All with random editing, zooming in, pausing, all that good stuff. This video isn't creepy in my opinion and especially after knowing tons of the clip's origins, I know this video is just a random edited video. I sadly can't find anything about this video. The reason being is because a new movie called Smile just came out and everything I look up just shows me that. So I sadly don't have anything to say about this one so please let me know if you know anything in the comments. PK Temple Sea Scripts is a Pokemon video that shows the town going a bit crazy with random text and a different color. It's very faint and I had to watch the video multiple times and read comments just to figure out what was going on. Basically it's just a recording slash emulation glitch and that's it. Glowing Eyes in the Inky Gloom is a video that shows old footage of factory workers with creepy music in the background. And that's it. Take a look. Clip 028 is a student film inspired by Marble Hornets and is pretty good for what it is. The video shows a man walking through the woods and stumbling upon a man stabbed with what appears to be a pipe, then a bit later is attacked by some creature and the video ends. At first I thought this was referring to the Spider-Man meme where Peter says pizza time, but I knew it couldn't be so I looked a bit longer and I found a video that shows people dressed up as the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And the video is definitely odd. It shows the people dressed up having a party and you know they just whip their penises out and ejaculate all over the pizza and they also decapitate their brother's head. However as weird and grotesque as this is, I'll be honest it's still better than the live action movie. CC Lemon is a YouTube channel that focuses on showing off different masks and also has relaxing music play, all of which happen while whoever's wearing the mask stares at the camera. Monica Cook posts short videos that are definitely odd. The first one titled Deuce shows a claymation boy and girl getting ready for a date by brushing their teeth and shaving and bathing. And the video just cuts to the girl giving birth to multiple claymation babies. Definitely odd, but only because of the style of animation, because obviously giving birth is just a natural, normal thing. So I have no idea the origin of this video, but it appears to be an end credit scene to something, whether it's a movie or something else. But about halfway through, the credits for a split second show a little kid that looks very, very creepy and he's only shown for a split second. Then once the credits end, random cuts show the kid again. There's also a small clip that shows Jeff the killer. This is an odd channel that posts tons of videos titled Loud Ass Rude Neighbors with the date and time in the title as well. Some videos are super short and some are hours long. Every video is just black and the audio consists of banging and sometimes yelling and from what I can find that's all this channel is. Just a place to upload these type of videos. 
Laughing Sailor is a YouTube video that shows multiple dolls called Laughing Sailors. And the way these dolls work is when turned on, they start laughing and they shake. So whoever uploaded this video thought it would be a good idea to buy five of them and have them all on at the same time. Just like all the other doll videos, if you're scared of dolls, this will obviously make you creeped out, but besides that, I actually find it funny. This is only a test that's similar to the video I just talked about a little while ago titled, This Video May Induce Nightmares. It's just another video that has some random clips that have already been talked about all while the Amber Alert sound plays and the song Hush Little Baby plays. Obey the Walrus is a channel that has six videos, all of which are random edited clips of spooky videos and kid cartoons. Their first and most popular video is in Spanish, but when translated, it is called The Hare and the Beast. The video starts off with a phone ringing, then shows random footage of things such as a microwave and a power plant. Then shows a clown, then shows more random clips, then shows a clip from Sesame Street. Very odd, and if you don't like clowns, this video will probably freak you out. This video is very saddening. The video shows of a diver named Yuri Lipsky, who was too impatient to get the proper help and lessons to dive to a certain point, and decided to go alone and dive instead of waiting. This would be a fatal mistake because Yuri sadly passed away while filming this dive. As Yuri dives further and further, you can hear a beeping noise, most likely telling Yuri that he is way too far down. There are a lot of problems that caused this death, one of which is that Yuri just had way too much equipment and was too heavy for this. And even if he did have enough air and practice, with all this weight on top of him, once he reached the bottom, he would not be able to get to the top. You can hear a lot of heavy breathing at the end until everything stops. Save Me A Time is a video from YouTube that has been deleted. The video shows someone filming a video game show they are watching on their computer. However, if listening closely, people can hear an odd repeating noise in the background. The camera moves a little bit and shows another video playing on a second window. The video shows what appears to be a man repeatedly slashing his arm. The channel who uploaded this video had plenty of other strange videos on it, one of which was a re-upload of the song I talked about a little while ago which was the 1STPA. The creator of this channel was found to have a Google Plus account that had pictures of dead people and a picture that showed some guy with his face blown off. Super mess up stuff. Shaq Gives Birth is an animation video that shows Papa John delivering Shaq's baby. However, Shaq gives birth to a pizza, then Papa John sells the pizza. Definitely weird. Francine Dancer is an actress who makes videos of her dancing with an odd mummy looking like doll. I'm not really sure what it is and it's difficult to tell but it's super creepy. Francine actually has a few diehard fans that actually archive videos of her dancing with this thing. The Leonard Lake tapes are tapes that serial killer Leonard Lake took of his victims. In the tapes you can hear him say how he will rape, kill, and bury a girl if she doesn't do everything for him. Super sickening stuff and Leonard took the easy way out and killed himself after realizing he was caught. It's suggested that he killed 25 people, however police only know of 11. So looking whatever this entry is on YouTube shows a lot of kids content with the first one popping up having half a billion views and here I am thinking 80 views is good. I feel like this wasn't what the iceberg was referring to so I looked this up on Google and there was only one link that popped up and it led right back to the iceberg I'm making. So I'm not too sure what this means, it could be a mess up and was supposed to lead to a certain video but I'm not sure. If any of you have been on TikTok about a year ago, footage of a handrail breaking went extremely viral with everyone on TikTok talking about it. The video shows a group of people leaning on a handrail until the railing breaks and multiple kids fall four floors down, seven of which died. It's a super shocking video and I can't show it because I would get age restricted and maybe even blocked. But it's a super saddening thing and the original video even shows the kids hitting the floor. It's just a tragic situation and probably could have been very preventable. Only on an iceberg video can you go from talking about people dying a horrible death then go straight into talking about a stupid YouTube meme video. The video shows a 3D model man spinning around just for text to pop up saying more yeast. Yeah, underwhelming. 
I'll be honest, I have no idea what this video could be. The phrase, we need to talk, is very clickbaitable for YouTube. So when I look this up, all I see is YouTube update videos. So sadly, I have no idea what this video is referring to. This video is so odd, I have no idea how to describe it. So I'm just going to show you the video and then I'm just going to move on. Because this is a weird video. OSD310 is a channel that posts a lot of random weird things. They post anything from PlayStation LSD simulator commercials to random videos of them on their phone to random animated videos. Picadon is a short film that shows the horrible impact the bombs dropped on Hiroshima did during World War II. It's a disturbing look into the simple peaceful life of everyone that turned into their final days in a matter of seconds. Philosophy of a Knife is a 2008 movie about people trying gruesome experiments on other people during World War II. It's an unrated movie that shows super gruesome and intense scenes. Bowl of Heaven is an artist who made an album that is 12 hours long. However, this isn't even close to being the world's longest album, with other albums reaching 7 days and even 6 months long. And I know what you're thinking, is the music good? No it's not. Again, it's just like all creepy music with barely recognizable instruments and sounds. The best way I can describe this video is if you took the ring tape from the ring movie and had it snort some crack. The video shows random creepy imagery all while screaming a random yelling and music can be heard. Definitely random and a bit creepy. This video was once called station922.mkv but has since been renamed to just slender. The video shows a man filming in beautiful 4k as he films the outside of his apartment or hotel with heavy breathing until a creature with red eyes jumps in front of the window. Be careful when watching this one because there is a jump scare involved, however I don't find this video scary. So the original link that brought me to this video has been taken down, and there are quite a few videos with the title all being just 6996. So although I don't know what the original one was, I can talk about a different one. So I found a video from 2017 and it only has 1000 views, and if the normal video I was supposed to talk about got taken down, and this one isn't, I have no idea how bad the original one was. The video I'm referring to shows a whole bunch of motorcycle accidents, a lot of which ended in death. The description in the video translates to deleted videos, so there is a chance this is what the iceberg was referring to. Definitely some sickening stuff. The viral video is a random video that shows a kid talking with a slowed down pitched voice. It's supposedly cursed but it's obviously fake and the video isn't even really scary or disturbing. It just looks like something a little kid would make to try and sound creepy. Man Relates His Own Out of Body Experience is a video that shows a man singing a song about what happened when he died of a heart attack. He talks about how he was floating above his dead body and felt completely relaxed. He also states that while out of body he came across a wise looking people who asked him what he learned from living. Here's the video. Peace and happiness, a euphoric feeling, such joy I feel inside, life's turned around now, things will never be the same, what's lost is found now, I'm glad I almost died, 
Tell me what happened to you. One day I had a heart attack. Were you dead now turning blue? Yes, I was, but they brought me back. What happened while you were dead? I left my body and floated free. Were you lying on a bed? Yes, I was gazing down at me. It's an awesome feeling of inner peace and happiness. A euphoric feeling, such joy I feel inside. Keep on talking, tell me more. I saw beings who looked wise. Please continue, I implore. My life flashed before my eyes. What question did they ask you? Tell us what you've learned from living. Your reply, your point of view. I've been taking without giving. It's an awesome feeling of inner peace and happiness. A euphoric feeling, such joy I feel inside. Dink a 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 joy I feel inside. What else did the being say? Imagination is the key. Clarify now, please explain. Thoughts become your reality. What more happened over there? Touched by the angels high above. Must have felt beyond compare. Bathing in the light of total love. It's an awesome feeling. Of inner peace and happiness, a euphoric feeling, such joy I feel inside. Did the angel say goodbye? Yes, they said I must return. Did they give a reason why? I still had a lot to learn. So what do you think of dying? Don't be afraid now, do not fear it. Tell the truth, please, don't be lying. The body dies, but not the spirit. It's an awesome feeling. Of inner peace and happiness, a euphoric feeling, such joy I feel, and joy I feel inside around now. Things will never be the same, what's lost is found now. I'm not afraid to die, oh no, I'm not afraid to die, oh no, I'm not afraid to die. An awesome feeling of happiness, peace and joy at So this is an orchestrated remix of a Donkey Kong song that sounds just so damn awful. Everything is off key and can barely even be considered a remake. I'll play what the song is supposed to sound like and then I'll play what the remake sounds like. Nintendo A Sad Story is a video that shows crudely animated versions of Bowser, Mario, and Peach, and sometimes would show edited clips of Nintendo's E3, where they show off the game Wii Play, which was a Wii game all about using the Wii remotes as instruments. The editing and looks to this short video reminds me a lot of Silent Hill games, all while having an old VHS tape feeling. This entry is supposed to be a YouTube channel, however looking it up there isn't a single YouTube channel with this name. So I started looking at videos with this title, however yet again no luck. However the first video that pops up is titled Pleasure to Rachel Gala, and the description the video has is the same thing as this iceberg entry. And the next video that popped up also had the same description, and both videos come from the same channel with two subscribers. 
The videos are edits of the game Gotcha, you know, the one I refused to talk about much earlier. The first video, Pleasure to Rachel Gala, shows flashing images of random Gotcha characters with random noise in the background. Yet again, another entry I really can't find much of. All I can find are videos that just show animals with what noise they make added in post. I tried looking on Google and Reddit and YouTube and could not find anything besides these videos. So if you have any idea, let me know. This channel shows a PNG picture of a guy while a one second clip of a random song plays, and that's the entire channel. The videos are titled with random letters and have no about section, so it's definitely an odd one that makes you wonder what was the purpose of this channel. Jimmy Maximum is a channel that has 30,000 videos. Now remember Temple OS I talked about? Jimmy actually uses Temple OS in a few of his videos. There are a few channels similar to Jimmy, most notably Global Worldwide, which I talked about earlier. Both Jimmy and Global post tons of videos that all have random titles, descriptions, visuals, and sounds, and it turns out what is going on is they both use a piece of software that gathers random clips and sounds from the internet, and mashes them into a short video and then gets uploaded. This video shows an odd looking clown creature emerging from water and saying some random things and then sinks again. Now the best I could do with finding out what this creature was saying was by using YouTube's auto translation closed caption feature. So although probably not nearly that perfect, the translation I was able to get was we're not leaving without the others. Then the video fades to a perfume ad then ends. I have no idea what this channel is meant to be and what this video is supposed to do. Possibly another ARG or just a weird video for the sake of being weird. Wiggle It is a video posted in 2016. The video shows a man in a fat suit and paint on his face, wiggling while talking to the camera. All well old video game sounding music plays in the background. Half a Face is a video that shows a man walking around at a wedding. The man appears to have no chin and therefore has only half a face. It's not creepy in my opinion because well sadly things like this happen, whether it was a birth defect or an injury. This man is just another normal person and he honestly seems happy and is in good spirits so that's great to see. So this video refers to a with girls. The videos are actually well liked and all the comments on their videos are upset because they have stopped uploading. Ah uh, yes, so for those who know of the My Little Pony Jar video, this is a nice sequel. This video shows a Mario figure in a jar of pee while a clip of Mario saying let me out of here plays. Definitely a 10 out of 10 video. At first what appears to be a normal cooking YouTube channel slowly turned into a more political one, with their first non-cooking video being called Is Cancer Always Deadly? The 5 Biological Laws of Nature. And this channel is in a different language, however I'm not able to get a translation of what they say in the video so I can only go based off the titles and pictures alone. However that's all this channel is, it's just a channel that started off making food videos and now it's into politics and talks about covid and all that. This is a random video that shows an elderly man standing and sitting while colors appear in the sky and relaxing music plays. From the looks of it, it could be an edited clip of a pre-existing show or PSA, but I could not find any proof of this. So as far as we know right now, it's just some random video. So I'm not sure why, but this entry and the other entry called Wiggle is for the same video, so everything I said about that video can be said about this one. Jack, a story from the past, was uploaded in 2007 by a YouTube channel with almost 4 million subscribers called Amazing Phil. The video is an animated story of a kid named Jack who has 84 arms and got made fun of so much he jumped off a mountain. It's a very random and odd video but has no disturbing or creepy undertones. All I could find for this entry was a video that shows a little boy being tickled and he yells no no stop. Then the video shows the kid again supposedly 20 years later saying it again. If this is the video the iceberg is referring to I have no idea why it's on here. It's honestly kind of cute. Oh boy another ARG with you guessed it random static videos and coded noises in the background. 
At this point, I have nothing else to say about these ARG videos. The Loud House is a pretty popular kids show on Nickelodeon, and this video shows a few clips from the show and fan drawings of the Loud House characters in sad situations. And I'm just going to say this right now. This video is cringe. It has the same feeling as those stupid Bart Simpson edits, and I'm not too sure how I feel about this video having 2 million views. This PSA is so unnerving. This PSA shows clips of starving African children crying and basically being shown starving to death, as text appears saying, we know you hate being asked for money, so send your old shoe boxes. We are running out of coffins. It's a brutally gut-wrenching PSA and makes me sick knowing people suffer like this every day. Take a look at the video, but be careful because although not showing much, it's still very unnerving. This video shows a robot AI looking man with static in the background saying things such as the sun is no longer in the sky, you don't know this is a beautiful day. Take a look. The sun is no longer in the sky. No visible clouds. The rain stopped and everything crawled. You do not know. This is a beautiful new day. Walk the streets. Woody is a video that shows a random picture of Woody from Toy Story, all while loud incoherent sounds play in the background. And at some point, a horrible version of You Have a Friend in Me plays. A Doko is a video posted only 5 months ago and shows a random skeleton dancing to a song. Nothing creepy or disturbing, just a skeleton having a good time. Definitely a happy ending for the second to last iceberg tier. I didn't mean to shoot daddy's gun is a PSA that is told from the perspective of a child talking about how he found his dad's gun and was playing with it and accidentally shot and killed his brother. With the ending of the PSA having the kids say I didn't mean to shoot daddy's gun. Definitely sad, but it is a good PSA and is very effective at scaring children and adults alike to hide their guns. World Around EWE is a YouTube channel that still posts, and the videos are about taxidermy animals being turned into random items, such as a rat being turned into not only a pencil sharpener, but a pencil bag. Ah uh, yes, a great 2-in-1 product. This channel has a few videos, all of which have heavily corrupted videos, some more than others, and is yet another ARG channel. However, I will admit this one is at least a bit more unique than the last few. Dark Luigi is a YouTube channel that posts a crap ton of videos and has almost 90,000 videos, and their last video was posted 5 minutes ago from the time of me writing the script. This channel features a lot of Super Smash Bros. content, and I'm pretty sure this entire account is made with the same AI that was used with the Global Worldwide and Jimmy channel. This channel has posted a few videos, all of which show a drawn anime girl talking that has obviously been tampered with to have a higher pitched voice. Their last upload was a year ago and is an album that sounds like some little kid is making fun of heavy metal bands, and others sound like video games and other sounds like that. 
Alien hand syndrome is a super rare condition that causes you not to control your limbs. Your limbs will do random things without you wanting to, such as giving you a thumbs up, grabbing something without you wanting it to. So you can see how this would be a huge burden. You can still use your hands, but your hands will have a random tick, and they'll do something you had no intention of doing. It's luckily rare, but obviously people suffer from it, and it's a living nightmare to deal with. Mox Mox is a YouTube channel that posts videos that are super highly saturated. Supposedly, this channel also shows videos of them murdering people. However, that was proven to be fake. The most interesting thing I found was from a channel called Scare Theater that actually had Mox Mox reach out to him, stating that he was real. Scare Theater responded saying he will believe he was real if the next victim was filmed hanging upside down and having their throat slit. Then a few hours later, Scare Theater got the exact video he asked for. Mox Mox actually reached out to Scare Theater after this, saying that they were fake and they were just a filmmaker. So it did turn out that these people were just someone trying to trick and scare people. Thankfully, nothing sinister was at play. Mike Nation is a channel that posts pretty regularly, but is probably on this list due to his eating mushrooms video and his most popular video that shows him filming someone supposedly stalking him. Nothing sinister happens and the person that's supposedly stalking him are just doing their job and trying to make sure nobody's trespassing. I Already Heard You is a video that is very random. The video shows the camera zooming in on a duck and then shows a slideshow of pictures of some random guy who might be the person who made the video, but I'm not sure. Now, there would be a chance this was creepy, however, the fact the video was obviously made using iMovie and the poor editing just makes this funny to me. Just Want to Eat My Fish shows a man grabbing a fish off screen, putting it on his plate, trying to pick at it, but the fish gets pulled away. And this happens for three minutes, all while you can hear a man yelling at the guy grabbing the fish. They just bicker back and forth and it's an odd video. And I can't find any info on it. I don't know when it was made, who made it, or where it's from. So if anyone knows anything, let me know. When looking up the channel Slyk F, a channel by the name of Cyborg23 shows up. So my guess is that this channel was renamed to Cyborg. Slyk F appears to be a music artist that makes random songs that somehow sound good and bad at the same time. They post videos that have them talking about suing people for using their music in their videos. They also post random odd videos such as a video titled Let Me Clarify the Consumption of Blood Allegation. The video shows a typed response of Slyk F saying how the allegations of him drinking blood are false and although he has drank blood from a human before, he does believe himself not to be a bad person. And the last few seconds show a girl with drawn blood on her with the word sane over it. Yep, definitely a normal person and not crazy at all. This video is gameplay of a rare PC game called Produce. It appears to be a mix of an RPG and strategy point and click. It's definitely interesting and surprised I haven't heard about it considering I literally did a video on disturbing video games. LOL Talking Fetus is a video that shows a bloody naked man with a bucket and shows a fetus in the bucket and shakes it around. So I will not show it here, but from what I've gathered it is real and the original video was deleted a little while after being uploaded. Radiator Creature shows someone trying to film behind their radiator. This goes on for a little while until the camera focuses on an eye. Then whatever the creature is moves away while a random sound of a monkey plays. Wafu Basics is basically the cousin of two girls one cup, but instead of feces, it's vomit. Obviously I'm not going to show this and it's very gross, so I recommend not looking this up. I want you to sit there and think about the word turdgasm and ponder what it could mean, because if you thought of anything besides shitting so hard that you come, then you're wrong. I couldn't find the actual video, thank god, but I could find descriptions. Apparently this turdgasm video shows someone pooping so hard after a long constipation it feels so good that they come. Yep, and that kids is why the internet sucks. This video is a jump scare video that for 45 seconds is just a black screen with a girl talking. Just to have a creepy face pop up and scare you. Just a very unknown screamer video. 
So this video is probably best described as a mixture of every different creepy video I've talked about. It shows super saturated film of sexual acts. It shows random creepy faces that pop up. It shows static and creepy music and sounds. It has the embodiment of all these creepy videos I have talked about, which is pretty impressive, honestly. So this name actually refers to a playlist rather than a video that consists of a video from a channel called I Am At Peace and another channel called Vampire Pineapple. The videos are just ARGs and nothing more. The videos show creepy visuals of blanked faced hooded monsters and with creepy songs in the background. Yet another channel with a crap ton of videos, however this channel has not uploaded in 3 months. It's hard to tell what exactly this channel is, looking at the description of the videos did not help, because they are just super random. One of their videos description just talks about the history of Ford trucks. The audio in all these videos seem to be of news stations, and the videos are either all black or film their speakers. I have no idea what this channel is for, and the uniqueness of the videos themselves make me feel like this isn't the same thing as the Dark Luigi and Global Worldwide channels. Bomb making tutorials is a sentence I probably shouldn't have looked up. I just hope I get this video done before the FBI gets to me. Now this is pretty self explanatory. My guess is that these are creepy because not only are there actually a few real tutorials, but I feel some people aren't looking this up just out of curiosity and probably have bad intentions. Ray William Johnson was a super famous YouTuber back in the day, and this video shows a masked guy talking about his fetish for Ray. Now it's very hard to know if this is just for jokes or if this guy actually does have a fetish for Ray, but whatever it is, I'm very thankful knowing I will never view it again. Animal Head is a very, very unknown music group that actually doesn't have crap sounding music. It's not my type of music, but it sounds infinitely better than any of these past songs we've listened to. I can't find anything weird, creepy, or disturbing about this band, so there is a chance this isn't what the iceberg is referring to, but I can't find any other channel with this name. X Mist is a channel with one video titled Pray for X. The video just shows text saying how they are cultists and they should pray for X. Reading the comments, someone actually asked who or what this channel was for, and X Mist responded saying it's just for Sonic.exe. So, yeah, not nearly that intriguing. This video is definitely unsettling because the videos show men forcing a pig down and slitting its throat. Now I love animals and I get that people need food so I don't mind when animals are hunted for food. However, if they are hunted for just sport, I don't really find that good. And I also feel it's best for a fast death so animals don't suffer. Slowly slitting a pig's throat is suffering. So yeah, definitely don't look this video up if you don't like seeing that kind of stuff. I have no idea what this is. Looking this up on YouTube just shows tons of YouTube shorts that have Talking Tom repeating something. However, it's in a different language so I don't know what is being repeated. If you have any idea what this means, let me know. But Chammy is yet another video I'm not sure on. A video does show up, however the iceberg says that this entry is not safe for work, however the clip I see has nothing not safe for work about it. It's just a clip of a still image of a woman with a white background while odd music plays. I tried looking up possible backstories to this video, maybe the backstory or song was not safe for work, however I found nothing. I won't play the audio just for that slim chance it is something horrible, but it sounds like nothing bad and it's very tame in comparison to some of the sounds and songs we've heard so far. So at the very, very bottom of an iceberg, you're expecting super unknown videos and channels, or at least something super creepy and disturbing. You're not expecting a channel with 18 million subscribers. His videos are very weird, don't get me wrong, but it should definitely not be almost the last part of the iceberg. His videos are just clips from his TikTok, he is obviously catered towards kids and makes super random videos. Snowmeister, not that one, is a supposed YouTube channel, but I cannot find a channel with that name. The name Snowmeister is for a pretty popular song from a movie called A Year Without Santa Claus, and has been on TikTok for a while. And I wish I could say more about this one, but I just can't find anything besides the original song. 
This video is very similar to user 666 with its art direction. Intense opera-esque music plays while odd edited heads appear on screen and wiggle like worms, and a weird gushy type sound can be heard. I'm not sure how creepy I find this, but it's weird and a bit unnerving. But at the point we are on this iceberg, I was expecting a lot worse. And the grand finale, the final video on this iceberg is station 992.mkv, Train of the Dead. The video is pretty loud and shows a run down broken train with smashed windows. The video is in 480p, however I think it looks a lot more like 1p because I can't see anything. I wish I could go super in depth with this final entry but I actually have no idea what I'm looking at, like at all. After looking a bit more into this, apparently the train is filled with corpses, and if you download the video, it's impossible to close out of the video. Now, do I believe this? No. Am I going to try it and see if it works? No. Wow. <laughs> Talk about a long video. When I made my last iceberg video and saw how long that video was, I thought that it was so crazy. And now here I am 9 months later and with a video basically double, maybe even triple the length. And if anyone at all is still here, thank you. I went in depth about this in my last iceberg video, but I am so incredibly thankful for not only the people that watch my content, but also for the people who actually stay and enjoy it. This video has taken a long time to make, but I feel it came out pretty good and I'm proud of it. However, with that said, this video has affected me in a somewhat negative way. Researching this video, I have seen many horrible things, and I've heard many horrible things. So it definitely will be a little while before I do another scary project again. You know, just so I can recover from everything I came across from this video. Now, I just want to come out and say I'm not the best at researching and piecing things together. So I know 100% I probably got some things wrong and or I talked about the wrong video, and for that I apologize. Feel free to correct me in the comments. I wanted to do something special for Halloween, and what better than a multi-hour video talking about some of YouTube's most disturbing videos. I personally found the audios the most disturbing, with a lot of these albums being sickening, and the real life stories of people suffering is just so so much worse than any spooky ARG. So with that said, I'm curious what videos you guys found most disturbing and scary. Let me know in the comments about what video you found the most scary, the most disturbing, and the most weird. And with that being said, thank you so 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 much for watching my scary and disturbing videos iceberg. And I will see everyone later. Please stay safe, and stay happy, and if you're watching this on Halloween, have a great Halloween.